beautiful olives coming back to watch my videos in case you're new here you're welcome my name is Dee Mwango a solo female traveler from Kenya in Africa traveling the world and welcome to Jamaica the land we all love in case you're new here please be sure to subscribe hit that like button leave a comment let me know where you're watching from and if you team D to the core I mean you are a returning subscriber thank you so much it means the whole world to me welcome to today's live stream how are you guys doing is everything okay today is one of those sad days in my life <laughs> trust me it's a struggle it's a struggle but you know what we keep moving all right so before we get to today's live stream allow me to give a special shout out to the brand that i'm wearing today big shout out to gino bambino this is one of the uh, best jamaican clothes lines that i can highly recommend i wish you all go follow her on instagram gino bambino as you all see the logo right here she's a jamaican she surprised me with quite a number of clothes and this is one of them that i really and truly love so big shout out to you gino bambino thank you so much you all need to go and follow her she's amazing look at the back it's written D Mwango, as you'll see from the back all right so i love it big shout out to you gino thank you so much for this beautiful vest i love it you know and i love the design because let me show you this is how it looks you see like i love it this way like it reaches here so when i'm wearing you'll think i don't have anything from the inside i just love that design so big shout out to gino bambino i don't know if she's watching big up shout out to you all right so guys welcome to today's live stream where are you watching from where are you watching from let me know so if you don't follow her please go follow her she sells lots of things talk of water bottles talk of clothes talk of bikinis talk of t-shirts talk of hoodies custom made if you wish maybe to have a t-shirt written your name maybe you're a youtuber or something i can highly recommend her gino bambino right there we go as you all know i love jamaica so i'm here to promote some uh, jamaican businesses and if you're watching you have a business maybe you want you want me to promote you can send me something maybe if it's clothes or bikinis or anything let me know wow guys it's so hot i'm melting i want to turn on the ac i just realized it's off and i'm already melting okay let me turn it on so i'm going to this direction because it's uh the watch the remote is on this side so i want to turn the ac on because it's really really hot okay guys i missed you all man i was like today let me catch up with you guys and share with you this is today is one of those bad days you know like in life we have those bad days and we have good days but still they all count at the end of the day it's life not every day is on a monday <laughs> that's a local uh, saying back in my country not every day is a monday not every day is good some days are harsh some days are smooth some days are just it is what it is but the end of the day that is it it's all life okay so today has been one of my rough days but i tried to make it good and productive at the end of the day you know so please give that video give the live a like because we only have 50 likes <laughs> but i know we just began the live stream and we have almost 250 the first three minutes of the live stream so please be sure to hit that like button hit that like button so today i want to have a chit chat with you guys all right today i want to share with you my struggles like today it was such a struggle <laughs> and uh traveling solo all right so it's basically a chat with you guys if you have some questions about traveling solo as a female let me know so most of the times when i tell people i'm traveling alone most of the time they're like are you are you are you kidding me like most of the people when i tell them i'm traveling alone they're like wow you must be so 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 courageous as you all know in life nothing is worthwhile without taking a risk everything in life is all about risk taking and being a female traveler 
it's just it's sometimes it's just overwhelming sometimes we get tired sometimes we get lonely sometimes we get bored sometimes it's overwhelming sometimes it's beautiful sometimes like it's just a mixture of everything but i just want to start by saying it takes a lot of courage uh, this is my 40th country actually some countries have been there for so long not once not twice like india i've been there twice some countries have gone there more than once but still we keep moving. So basically, I started traveling when I was back in my university and uh, now it's like three years of traveling, uh, you know, around the world. And um, it's one of the best things and decisions I've ever done. When I finished my university, you know what? I was like, you know what? It's time to travel the world. So ever since I've been on the road by myself, it's only one country, just one country that I've, uh, I wasn't alone. I had, uh, I had somebody with me and it was one of my worst experiences ever. <laughs> Like traveling alone is just, it's just something so sweet. But when you have a second party and you're traveling together, but it depends. Sometimes it's the best experience. But sometimes, like, let me say, like relationship-wise, traveling as a couple, it takes a lot to, you know, understanding and all these things. Because everything, nothing is, uh, is actually uh, perfect. Sometimes, you know, like everything has its advantages and this advantages but what i can say is traveling solo like for me on my side it's one of the best things even traveling with friends you know sometimes i really don't know but sometimes to me i prefer making new friends along the road everywhere that i go so that i can get to like have a different feeling of everything along the road so so far we've been to 40 countries traveling alone as a female is one of the most beautiful things you can ever do i don't know if you're watching and you'd wish maybe to travel the world as i'm doing by myself i'm here to encourage you and let you know you can still do it so let's talk about jamaica oh my gosh like this country is just all that i needed in my life traveling solo as a woman in jamaica is one of the most exciting things let me tell you first of all the attention that you get let me tell you like i don't mean like anyways i love attention but in a positive way i mean like when i'm walking on the streets i want to talk to people i want to interact with the locals and so far in jamaica it has been one of my favorite experiences ever also india i i think india was really really beautiful and overwhelming on my side in a positive way in that i could get a lot of attention on the road i mean attention in that people are willing to talk to me on camera because some countries people don't really have time for others like they're so busy they have things that they're doing like let me just say for for example not in a bad way but this is from my experience for example when i was doing my europe tour like some countries you could rarely talk to anyone people are just so 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 busy in that they don't have like your time and all that you know but in some countries it depends with the culture but in some countries like jamaica it's one of the best things to do the moment i open my mouth to anybody they'll always respond back like i love that type of kind of uh, attention and in jamaica coming from africa it's one of the best things like sometimes i don't even need to say it they see me and they're like you from africa i wish i watch your videos every single day in jamaica there's no single day that i've been on the road and i haven't met one of my subscribers every single day every single day they come and they're like d i watch your videos keep doing what you're doing and to me it's one of the best 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 things so the love that i get in jamaica is massive the people here are good like everybody not only men but also women and i love the fact that even the men can express themselves like they're not that shy like i really love that <laughs> You know, everyone can just talk to you anything that they feel. They tell you, oh, you're looking nice, your skin nice and clean, you know. And also how they, you know, like in Jamaica, most of the Rastafarians, they call me Empress. Like, I've never been anywhere in the country where they call me Empress, you know. And it's just so normal. <laughs> I don't know, but those are just small little things that make me feel so happy about Jamaica. And another thing is the fact that the doors are always open, like when you're interacting with the locals, more so in the garrisons, like in the ghettos. Let me tell you guys something. Like, until you'll be in my shoe to know how it feels. Like, I, I'm out. I want to create content. I want to be somewhere it's lively. I want to be somewhere like, I feel like, yes, I want to be here for long. For example, if I contact a rich person, maybe, like, Chris and I have tried like to like we like can we get this person like one of the rich business people here in Jamaica so that we can maybe do their story showcase their cars and all this they're always busy they don't have time for us but go to the ghettos like 
that's where the real thing happens like you find the local jamaicans they'll you know the doors are wide open for us they can take us in they can talk to us freely but if you want to go and do this rich neighborhood even you who is watching if you're a rich person maybe a rich man or a rich woman or a rich girl or a rich whatever if i just tell you i'm coming to your home i want to share your story to the world most of the time you won't have time for me but trust me when we go to the garrisons like where the locals i mean like the locals people of my class live it's always a vibe just walking around they want to talk to you they want to they want to sing they want to do all these things so personally i'm enjoying jamaican jamaica and i'm here to like experience the jamaican life in the jamaican style like the real local jamaican life because i'm here to just you know to just get any everything apart from creating videos i want to have a story like you know because not everything is on camera also i learn by observation by just looking i'm like okay this is how life is but so far i can say like in my entire traveling if you want to enjoy your traveling travel the local way mingle with the locals like typical locals of not of the high class of the low class not really like okay law is not the correct word to use i don't know if you guys get me i mean like go where the local like common person lives i think that's the best way for me to to describe it for example in the ghettos you know we have ghettos everywhere even in my country we have ghettos you know what i mean we have ghettos there there in my country if you go to kibira it's one of the biggest ghetto i think in africa and so many people when they land in my country they go there they want to see how is the ghetto life and most of the time people there are so friendly so same thing to me here in jamaica i want to experience that as i've said if you try to get in touch with the rich people it's always a struggle you have to book appointments you have to do this they're always too busy but if you go the local way you get the local taste of everything so for me so far so good i'm loving the jamaican men's vibe of course you know i mean you know what i mean because to me it's something that i really love like i love interacting with the opposite gender just to see how they talk how they how they see things and to me it's one of the most exciting 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 things so far i haven't had any bad experience like frightening experience apart from um when i just came and actually i didn't like get an exp uh, like a chance to experience it at, like really fast hand i was in the craft market and there was a lady who had been shot and the blood was all over to me that was so frightening but i got to learn the jamaican way so many of you are like d when such a thing happens you don't need to ask because you know like where we come from you have to ask hey what happened here like what transpired like why was the girl shot people are like d if you want to do that you're gonna get yourself into trouble you just need to look and keep quiet and keep going it's like you haven't seen it so ever since you guys told me that <laughs> like i'm getting to mature the jamaican life the jamaican way of just minding your own business in jamaica this is what i feel if you want to be on the safe side just mind your own business and nobody will like will get into your business as as well like that's something i don't know what you guys think about it let me know so apart from that that was an experience that i've never seen before like i've never ever seen so much blood like that on the floor in the name of somebody being being shot okay i just want to be honest with you apart from that my experience has been good 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 like i love it the attention from the people like everybody want to say hello and more so when you say i'm from kenya like i'm from africa in jamaica if you say you're from africa it's just equivalent by saying i'm from heaven like jamaicans love africa so so much like 99 percent of the people that i've ever met on the road and i tell them i'm from africa they're like wow the motherland I, want, I can't wait to visit i can't wait to visit and most of the people here in jamaica they refer themselves as africans i swear you know like most of the people they tell us they tell me we are africans but i don't know i don't know your take on that but to me i i, I don't really have the proper answer to say because we in, we are in jamaica but they tell me we are africans that's what they tell me okay so i don't know but the roots of jamaicans from africa right so when they tell me they're africans then i don't have anything against that whatever they tell me i go with that but they truly love africa 90 percent of jamaicans that i've met not, not 90 99 percent they're like oh i can't wait to visit i went to bobo camp you know i don't know if you guys watched the video if you haven't watched you're missing out and when i was there they're like you know what 
we waiting, we waiting, we can't wait to go to Africa. Africans should send us ships. Here, we want to go to Africa. If you Africans don't send us ships to take us back home, the sea will dry and we will walk on it. What I'm saying is true story. If you're doubting what I'm saying, go and watch my Bobo Camp video. That's what they were telling me. So what am I trying to say? They're really proud of Africans and they really, really love Africa. To them, Africa is the promised land. The way, like, this is what I can say. And remember, everything that I'm saying is per my past perspective okay not anybody's perspective so whatever i say is from my own opinion you have your own opinion maybe i'll ask you to let me know so from my own opinion they really really die to go to africa like you know like in the bubble camp they're like you know what we are we are fasting here we are praying waiting to go back home to the motherland to the promised land and this is what they were telling me if you people don't send us ships the sea will dry up and we're gonna walk on it back home you know so to me i just don't know what to say but i, I just wish they could just go to africa and see how it looks all right but uh maybe someday so to them africa is the promised land i swear like africa if you're doubting what I'm saying, go on my Bobo Camp video. You're gonna see what I'm saying. So if you're missing, if you're missing watching my videos, you're really missing a lot. So Africa to them is a promised land. They can't wait to go back home. Like they're, you know, like I being a Christian because he's saying uh, the judgment day will come and all of us will go to heaven. Heaven is our promised home that we're waiting. Okay, to them Africa is their promised paradise is their promised heaven they can't wait to be you know to be free and go back home so you know that's the vibe that i'm getting in jamaica and i totally respect anything that they say because everybody has freedom of speech and express their minds and thoughts and you know in any way that they want so me being an african in jamaica it's it's i don't know what to say it's a blessing like it's something big like they love africa like they truly truly love Africa. To them, Africa is the promised land. So that's having been said, that makes my life so easy here in Jamaica. I'm facing zero racism, like zero. I can proudly say zero racism. And I don't think in my entire travel I've ever experienced racism in a way that I felt humiliated because of my skin color. I don't think so so far but in jamaica just saying you're from africa it's like i'm from heaven <laughs> you know like they love africa they love africa like so 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 much so that is making my life in jamaica really enjoyable like i've never been relaxed in a country ever in my entire travels the way i'm relaxed in jamaica it's like home you know when you're relaxed you're at home it's like how i feel when i'm back home in congrats mom compound that's how i feel i'm like yay i'm home like you know like it's such a beautiful country like it's full of vibe and everything is just so unique how they drive their buses how the taxi drivers drive on the road is just so overwhelming everything every day every single day is a new experience new day full of life i'm like yo this is all i needed what am i trying to say jamaica is a place to go if you haven't been to jamaica actually you need to come and as the media puts it you know actually if you just go right now all of us who are watching just go google is it safe to travel to Jamaica as a solo traveler? More so female, you'll see what Google will tell you. It's not safe, high rates of crime, all these things. Be careful, don't go, don't do this. But when you come to Jamaica, it's totally different. You all know, like you can all see through my videos, you know, like it's always a vibe. It's all... And personally, I'm so surprised. Let me tell you, Jamaica is not what media shows you. Like today, I was out filming New Kingston. As I said, guys, I'm here to experience Jamaica in both ways. I want to go to downtown. I want to go to the countryside. I want to go to New Kingston. I want to go to Old Kingston. So whatever I'm showing you, I'm also here to experience, okay? So to me, everything is beautiful. Everything is nice. And me going to the garrison, I'm not just going to, like, um, say Jamaica is poor or Jamaica is like this. No, I go there because I want to see. How the local people live how how it goes on the other side and as you all know kingston not not kingston jamaicans are really friendly but if you go to the other side like in the ghettos 
those people are so good and of course even in the media if you want to go to trench town built even if you take a taxi and you're like i'm going to trench town the the drivers will look at you twice i'm going to spanish town they'll be like what did you just say but immediately when you get there with the proper links i don't want to make this video and uh, you take my words and you go there alone then something happens then you're like d you lied to me i went to trench town or spanish town and this is what happened you have to go there with proper links for example for me i'm too blessed my subscribers live in trench town live in spanish town as we've all been seeing special shout out to dj khan and the team you know uh youths on the rise like i have a lot of people who can take me there so when you are with the locals everything is safe just like in my country if you go to the ghettos if you go to kibira with a local it's always a plus nobody will look at you at a type of way you know so if you're going to those places make sure you have proper links okay as i'm doing i have proper links and when i go there it's always a good time it's always a vibrant time it's all i'm like yes this is all i needed so when you go there please be cautious don't just run there and say oh i saw d here i also want to go go but make sure you have somebody to take you there all right but generally you're gonna love it it's not what the media shows you so me coming to jamaica as you all know i'm a leo i'm a, I'm a fearless person because i totally believe nothing is worthwhile without taking a risk and i'm beyond blessed because my subscribers are always there with me i always have like five six people like in spanish town like i have enough people to take me around that makes my life really interesting that shows me the real hospitality of jamaicans and uh, i totally totally appreciate i've never been relaxed in my entire traveling the way i'm relaxed here in jamaica all right and you all can see it like every day i have amazing company i'm loving it the food actually i'm so poor when it comes to trying new food i'm really poor in that but uh, i'm trying my best because jamaica is so diversified and my favorite jamaican snack is party i don't know if you get, who is watching from jamaica like do you love the parties as i am personally i'm hooked i'm hooked i can't resist every single day no day passes without me going to eat parties you know i'm always in juicy juicy parties i'm always in mothers like i know all the brands you know because i'm always out eating parties and i can't wait to do a video for you guys so today actually i tried the beef party actually i'm a very poor meat eater more so when it comes to beef i love vegetables and if it's uh it's meat i prefer chicken if you know when it comes to the parties but the kalaloo and the soya parties are my favorite but today i had a bite of um the beef party i like it it's amazing another thing that is really surprising me here in jamaica is the cost of living oh my gosh you guys i don't know if you don't follow me on instagram you're really missing out and this is just to tell you jamaica is not what you think jamaica is not what you think you guys my guys like i've been to expensive countries like switzerland luxembourg denmark but to me jamaica is something else guys jamaica is something else let me give you an example let me grab something I, if you go to the supermarket like life in jamaica is extremely expensive more so to me and i just think it's just expensive because i've been to europe i've been to expensive countries in europe and i still feel like jamaica is just on another level like i go with five thousand jamaican dollars in a supermarket it's nothing i mean you can literally get like so less i'm like jesus jamaica <laughs> i don't know most of you tell me it's because i live in a posh neighborhood or something but i don't really agree with you although yes you know like life in jamaica like where i'm living it's a hundred us dollars per day where i'm living here in jamaica maybe for those who are new here maybe i can give you a quick tour of my place this is what a hundred us dollars can get you in jamaica so it's actually a two bedroom okay let me turn the camera so this is my place this is how it looks this is this goes for a hundred jamaican dollars this is the living area as you all see it we have a tv it's so beautiful i love the wall it looks so good we have the ac this is the living area this is the working space here it's more of a dining area i have the kitchen here as you all see and uh, the fridge because of course it's hot so you must have it so this is the living area as you all see this goes for a hundred us dollars per 
day okay a hundred us dollars per day so when you guys see me making content man you'd rather just support me i have a washing machine here and let me show you my bedroom uh let me turn on the lights okay there we have the light so this is my bed as you all see and this is what a hundred jamaican not jamaican a hundred us dollars gives you just a simple bed do you guys see a simple bed as you all see it and uh yeah this is me i love the mirror right here so this is basically my bedroom this is where i call home this is my closet it's a little bit messy but yeah then i have the bathroom maybe i can yeah the lights are on then this is the bathroom right here as you all see it, this is a hundred jamaican dollars per day okay as you all see it's a hundred jamaican dollars so jamaica is not what you think you guys my guys and special shout out to gino pambino the clothes that i'm wearing is from her she's a jamaican please go support her follow her on instagram gino pambino if you're looking for any custom made thing like a, a t-shirt a short a hoodie or anything please follow her this is what a hundred jamaican dollars gives you okay you can get a cheaper place for less 50 to 70 per day okay this way i'm living man a hundred us dollars a day in jamaica okay so to me personally jamaica is not what i thought it's really 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 expensive but we keep moving we're surviving so let me show you something like this really shocked me so this uh it's a it's a cabbage as small as you see it it's 330 jamaican dollars like it can fit in my palm and actually it's 0 0.35 kg net weight for 330 in kenya if you go to shop like a cabbage this one actually is not even this one maybe 10 cents or five cents this this is way too expensive what do you guys think let me know 330 jamaican dollars this is like three us dollars or 330 kenyan shillings let me know because i've been to europe trust me expensive countries this is way <laughs> <laughs> extremely expensive so to me life here is too much okay the OGs just arrived <laughs> one, one. So okay uh -huh. yeah, man. welcome to uh, jamaica here representing <laughs> and that's the jamaican accent so so i don't know if you remember kish if you yeah. remember kish let me know in the comment box so we have 730 people watching right wow, now wow. so i don't know if you remember him let me yeah. know okay yeah let me know in the comment box and also we if have Chris, my name is Chris Muslis. if you remember me <laughs> make sure you leave a comment down in the comment box all right we're getting we almost at 200k subscribers so you'd rather subscribe to chris must list that would be a wonderful day road to 300 uh not 300 <laughs> okay also 300 <laughs> and big shout out to anti bad mind yes. this is give them a shout out chris yes rep ja here you go on instagram rep, rep ja on instagram yes. we love 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 their clothes yes. i have a number of them as well yes, yes. so we're here with also supporting jamaican brands so be sure to check them out rip ja let's see it again chris if you don't mind yeah, no right problem. here please go follow them all right and that also yeah what i'm wearing i already told yeah. you from gino um bambino. yeah gino bambino follow her on instagram she brought for me amazing so many some of them are hoodies but it's quite hot i can't put on a hoodie in jamaica maybe when i'm traveling or i don't know but you can as well check them out okay ah uh, i see somebody says i follow kish from marwa okay that's oh, good marwa. so be sure to check them out yeah kish, i just arrived man in jamaica actually in kingston just a few minutes ago you know uh -huh. yeah, and then chris took me to you know see the downtown life it's really amazing you know chris is the best yeah yeah it's fun. <laughs> it was really nice yeah so jamaica your boy is here you know Look at this. Good vibes only. Good vibes only. <laughs> How are you finding Jamaica? You know me, I was just showing them like a cabbage. Yeah. What 330 Jamaican dollars. Yeah, Jamaica and in nice. Kenya, I'm like, that one is like 10 bob. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> it's super expensive here. Nobody likes you. Jamaica is expensive. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't know how. People How do you find it? Like, just be honest. To me, you live in Sweden. So yeah. actually, Kish is a Kenyan, but he lives in Sweden. Compare Sweden, live alone Kenya, because to us in Kenya, it's way too yeah, much. It's, 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 we can't it's, even compare it's extremely it's like a hundred times expensive yeah so, the so funny thing is sweden that, uh, sweden uh, versus jamaica sweden and jamaica actually the difference is not sweden is more expensive of course but here is almost some 
eggs are also, also the same the same price you know mm -hmm. and that's really shocking for me because i'm wondering how people are able to you know go by here in jamaica yeah, because in sweden at least people earn well so they make uh, enough to survive you know and in jamaica but when i ask a local how much do you make a month they say like a good job maybe three uh three 30,000 30, to 50,000 Jamaican dollars. Mm, no. Eh? You know, Rocky was telling me his family member that works full time gets 18,000. A month? A month. 18,000 yeah. a month. You know That's what? Crazy. It might be a week. It might be a week. I think it's per week. Yeah, probably 18,000 per week. Yeah. But still, it's way too expensive if you got. Yeah. Like the other day, Chris went to buy breakfast. He came back and was like, D, I spent 2,000. Yeah. <laughs> breakfast. Eh? On so breakfast, not two thousand, three thousand for breakfast. Oh, no, no, man. I and mean, we the the fish meal for you and I was two hundred and fifty dollars US. In Hellshire. In Hellshire. Yeah. Guys, in Hellshire Beach, we only ate me and Chris. No, Chris, no, how much did you pay? No, yeah, man was there and ate, and we had the side dishes. But for three of us to eat, two hundred fifty dollars US. Two hundred and fifty. Not including the drinks. The drinks were additional, paid somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Wow. In Ken, I just don't know. So the only, the only reason that was possible because I'm with possibly Africa's number one YouTuber and she deserves nothing but the best. <laughs> <laughs> if it was anybody else, we would have just went fishing and caught a little fish. That is it. Cut it up, but for you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris. Exactly. Like, wow, that's really way expensive, right? Yeah, but Jamaica looks good at you, D. So, yeah. Jamaica looks good at yeah, me, yeah, right? Yeah, you're glowing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look happy, you're glowing, you look healthy. Eh? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's <laughs> because I'm happy. I'm really happy and I'm loving Jamaica every single day, yeah, you know? Place, yeah. I'm in a happy place. You know, when you're in a happy place, even if you're spending so much, you don't feel it. You yeah. know, because you're happy, but yeah. if you're sad and yeah. still spending too much, but you're gonna be depressed. Yeah. <laughs> so Jamaicans or Jamaica at large, thank you so much for making yeah. me happy. It's everybody, country, yeah. yeah. You know what? Everybody tells me that D Jamaica is taking you well. Like you're happy, you're looking good, you're glowing and everything. So I'm loving Jamaica. That's that's the truth. So actually, let me tell you something. Uh, Chris, how many days have you? Are you left with you in Jamaica? Uh, am I left until I leave? Uh huh. I think I'm gonna leave around Monday. <laughs> Too bad for you, Chris. You're gonna miss Jamaica. You know, Chris was like, D, maybe I need to get and a condo in Jamaica. Saying, the difference between me, I got a wife and kids at home. Mm -hmm. uh, where you guys are running, I guess, a single, more single life. I miss my home. I miss my family. As much as I love Jamaica, I can only be here for a limited time. Uh, but I want to bring them back. Around Christmas, I think I'll bring my wife and kids back so they can enjoy as well. Like today, we were in a very beautiful place, but it ended up to be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is laughing because they were together and he knows what happened. So this is what happened to me today. We went to this beach. Uh, what's the place? Port Royal. Today, I was in Port Royal, guys. As you all know, my wish, your wish is my command. So you've always wanted me to go to Port Royal, okay? We went there with Chris, as you all know, or if you don't know, content creation takes a lot. It's not just a matter of showing up and you have the camera. As you all know, the weather in Jamaica is something else, but I'm not complaining. It is what it is. I'm sweating on the streets, creating the content for you guys under the scorching sun. Like, everything was so good. I met a very amazing man. He was uh, kind of an old man, but he, he told me he's... Uh, his health was not so good, but he really, uh, he was really a nice person to me. He was extremely nice. Like, when I say I love Jamaica, like, I truly mean it. Like, he was an old man, and um, he's suffering from stroke, actually. He couldn't even talk so properly. But he was willing to talk to me. He told me, he was actually cleaning his yard. He was holding a stick, like a walking stick, at the same time cleaning. So I was just curious, and I just started talking to him, and he was like, you know what? I'm not so good health-wise, I'm suffering from stroke, but I still have to clean my yard. And he was like, my house is one of the cleanest houses you can ever come across and come in and see. And I went inside and it was extremely clean. And his house is so big and beautiful. As you all know, Port Royal is uh, those days, it was known as uh, the richest and wickedest city in the world. So you can imagine how rich it's going to be. So he took me in his house, he lives alone. It was extremely clean, well organized. I was like, damn. Like, that was just something else. Because I'm not just trying to like downgrade the men, but most of the time when when a man is living by himself, you can easily tell and know there's no woman here. So I was just so impressed. 
with how like uh, the house was so clean. He was uh, he gave me an interesting story about his life and the family, how life changed and all these things. And I was documenting all that for you guys. Then we went to one of the marinas there. And guess what? So we went to a private island. I was making these videos. I was swimming and my SD card crashed. <laughs> as sad as that, I can't recover the footage. It was all gone. Like you guys have no idea the energy we put in what we do. You out the whole day creating content, then something like that happens. I don't know why it happened, but it happens sometimes. It's not even my first day I've ever actually lost a drone with all the full day footage in Sweden. So it was just a flashback. I was like, oh my gosh, this is not the first time. It, sometimes it happens, but it's one of the saddest things that can ever happen to a content creator because I was like, you know what, I need to create content. And uh, as much as I'm showing you the garrisons and all that, which I told you why, I want to mix it up. I want to show you both sides. Like, I want to show you the real Jamaica. Like, if you want to come here, and let me tell you something, the good thing about being raw is the fact that anybody who is watching, they're going to really know what to expect. Like, I'm not here to sugarcoat or tell you this is how it is. Like, some content creators, they'll tell you, oh, Africa is paradise, Africa is this, Africa is that. But we also have the other side. So you come to Africa and you find it and you're like, oh, but I've never seen this on TV. Like, my work is to show you that, like, the real thing. When you come to Jamaica, I want you to, like, have raw first-hand information through my videos so that you can see how raw and real it is. I don't want you to come to a place with a different expectation. Then you come here and you're like, but I've never seen this other side. So I'm here to show you the real raw Jamaica in a Jamaican style, like the most raw, real way as much as I can. Jamaica is beautiful and I'm here to discover it from all angles. In that, if you're thinking of moving to Jamaica, you know what to expect, okay? That's, that's how I love doing my thing, you know? Like showing you the real, raw thing. And of course, as I told you, me going to these garrisons that are known for being unsafe and all this, at the end of the day, I have never ever had a bad experience. You guys, as you can see from my videos, it's always positive, you know? I'm just trying to show you, as much as they say it's too dangerous, but when you're there, with uh, proper links, people to guide you where to go and where not to go, nothing bad can happen. But again, as I say, don't go there just alone. Then something happens, then you say, oh, it's because of me. Be sure to go there with correct, proper people. In Jamaica, everybody will tell you, be cautious of who you're working with. Like, get to know your company because you might get yourself into trouble with uh, from the person that you're working with. Maybe a person is a target or maybe is a criminal or something. Then maybe... People are looking for him or something, so you might get yourself in trouble in that mix. So you'd rather know who you're working with and who is taking you along. That's free advice. Just get to know that, all right? So as I said, today was one of those horrible days, but uh, still I went to um, New Kingston. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Let me tell you something funny. When I was coming to Jamaica, I was looking for these videos. Like, I wanted to see, like... The other side of Jamaica and I couldn't find these videos as much as you know I just don't know what to say let me not just say it uh, the way I thought to say it because I don't wanna like judge or generalize or offend anybody like the other side sells more like people I, I don't know why but if I create videos like New Kingston and all this people don't wanna watch that much but if I create downtown Kingston <laughs> Everybody is watching. That's why many content creators, when they come to Jamaica, they go on the other side because it sells. And that's what media shows. So if you give people what they want to see, definitely you're going to get like so many views. But I'm here to show you Jamaica from both angles. In that when you come to Jamaica, you know what to expect. Okay? So please hit that like button. You have 930 people watching. 381 likes. No, 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 no. And Please you know give what? the video Somebody like. in the background said, who's that old woman wearing the big women glasses? I love it. I do it for you. Thank you. Eh? Big... <laughs> what did you say? Please? Big woman wearing big glasses. Who's the old woman in the background wearing women glasses? Something like that. I love it. Give them the donkey of the day for me. If it was my channel, I would give them a donkey of the day. Of course. I'm also giving them a donkey of the day. Whoever said that to the donkey of the day, how can you say, how can you say that? How can you say? I love it. Let that is let disrespectful. Let them do it. Let them do it. Please be respectful as much as I can. Guys, creating content is not that easy. Or can so you do me a favor? Ask them to send me a picture of their best outfit. 
and I'll tell them what I think. Tell them. Come and tell them, please. Tell them. Tell them. Come, 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 come. It's gonna be all Let it out. Let it out. You know? But that's so disrespectful. How can no, you say? Cares. But this is the people. Huh? But guys, if you're struggling with depression, here it's all about positive energy. If life is too hard on your side, you're struggling with depression, please keep they the energy to you. So yes, <laughs> some people just need love. You know, yeah. that's what Chris normally tells me. Like some people just need love in their life. That's what makes them behave the way they are. It's your first day, and uh, can I introduce you to Ray or his nephew? Oh. <laughs> Ray and his nephew. Yeah. Ray and nephew. Oh, Ray and nephew. Oh. Have you heard of this? No, no, no. <laughs> Kish is being in, uh, welcome to Tixa oh, Jamaica. Let me show you. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. It says um, 63%. And I just arrived. This guy wants to knock me out. No, no, no. no. <laughs> just, just a little bit. This is for you and Chris. Yeah, me, I don't belong no, here. Okay, just, okay, just, just, just tell me when to stop. You just want stop, to stop. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just this a little is, bit. Uh, just, just a little, little bit. For the old woman with the woman glasses. For the <laughs> just because of that. Just because of yeah, that. Just the way you know. I yeah. fall asleep on the couch. So this is called Ray, Ray and, and Nephew. nephew. It's 63 percent. If you're from Jamaica, I hope you know this. Uh, uh, guys, uh, me, I don't belong there. <laughs> no. Uh, it's strong. nice, but it's strong. <laughs> 63 percent. <laughs> eh? 63%. Oh. Maybe the other I don't know why the light looks okay. I don't Ooh. know. Yeah. I I have those glasses. You guys you don't know the price of these glasses, but that's crazy. That uh Christmas list is putting on. Yeah. Like mind. this is real, real, don't real. <laughs> this one. Look at no, that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Those are cheap plastic glasses. I feel equally as flamboyant. <laughs> <laughs> They're not flamboyant anymore. This is the real deal. You guys, you have no, no idea. For the, no, no, no. Let me. Matter. No, for the person who was Listen. actually saying no, that matter, has though. no idea how much. That you have to matter. sell a kidney. You sell a kidney. With how much it costs. <laughs> Everybody does as they please. They wear what they want. I guarantee I wouldn't wear what they wear. Those right. plastic glasses don't look drive good. Drive the car that they would drive, or eat the food that they would eat. But where you? Need. Chris drives a Lamborghini, a Maserati, and all those things. Oh Actually, people don't know. You know something yeah. funny with Chris? If yeah. you see Chris on the road, you won't know who he is. Yeah. He's one of the most humble people that I've ever met that have made it in life. So when yeah. somebody comes with such negative energy, I'm like, you don't know who you're talking to. All I'm saying yeah, is, I'm not listen, that the key to success is this. People that are successful in life never bring negativity. Yeah, They're, you're never gonna find a millionaire on leaving a stupid comment like "I don't like your glasses" because they don't care about that. They don't even think about that, right? So those people, I feel sorry for those people. So that's that a pro tip. If you wanna be a millionaire, no, not a millionaire, but if you wanna be successful in life, yeah. you don't care about Avoid negativity. when you're walking down someone's street and you don't like their shoes. Yeah, you're, you're gonna waste yeah. your energy to say I don't like your shoes, or you're gonna be like I hope you have a wonderful day. Yeah. Yes. Come on. Come on man. But just for those who don't know, <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you something. You see what what I'm holding? You'll that sell your kidney. But the person who made that comment, she'll just no, get no, the, not, you guys. You, no, you see this? Stop that. That's Chris doesn't mean. put on fake yeah. things that you might imagine. Like those plastic glasses are mine. <laughs> They're mine now. I'm wearing these in my next video tomorrow. <laughs> It's all gonna come out when I'm walking Actually, to Kingston. This, this was a gift from one of my friends from uh, Belgium. Her okay. name is Chinese Kiki. Big up to Thank you, Kiki. Thank you, Chinese Kiki, for my new glasses. <laughs> <laughs> And actually, she told me, you know what, D, when you go to Jamaica, this will like suit. I yeah. have two that have that Jamaican vibe. So yeah, uh -huh. those Gucci glasses are nice. How, how did this uh, feel? Oh, you didn't drink? No, I, it's, it. it's still coming in. You know? Finish it in no, one. Yeah. Is it comparable to any alcohol you tried before? No, not really. What it's, makes it's it strong. different? It's strong. It's strong. It's you, you know strong. what? My kids were young and they used to write on the wall. Yeah. I would take Ray and nephew and I would clean the walls with the Ray and nephew. It's very That's strong. how strong it is. Yeah. yeah. I think I've never had something stronger than this. Sixty-three. The sure. highest I've had maybe is like forty-three. But something. you can buy this anywhere in the world. So if you like this and you become accustomed to it, you can buy it anywhere. Yeah. The problem is in Sweden, it's not allowed to import anything over forty. No, no, 42. not import. But I mean, me at like the store. With you, I, mean. I can go to the store in Toronto and buy this from the store. Oh. In normal. So this is the strongest I've seen. Yeah. yeah. So I'm trying to wake up still. That Take it cool. one, like one <laughs> shot. <laughs> one shot. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't even put the play. fire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, man. I, somebody, me up, you know? Somebody's saying get a chaser. Chris doesn't yeah, do chasers. You chaser? no. Roll, roll. <laughs> you gotta do it the way we do it. No oh, chasers. <laughs> 
I'm not a shots person, you know. I'm used to yeah. chasing no, it. No, no, you, you take know. it slow. Yeah. Uh, no, just one shot. You just open your mouth, finish it. Yeah, you should not talk about this, you know. One <laughs> shot. <laughs> you should take this within uh, two minutes and finish mm. the eh. No, it's not possible. You got to take possible. it slow. Yeah. I'll start dancing here, you know. Yes. <laughs> it's too late to dance. <laughs> Yeah. It's too late to oh, dance. Too early to dance, I mean. Eh? Yeah. Don't drink the rum like that. Put water. It's very strong. Ah. They're strong let men. Let How are you letting people are strangers tell you what to do? How do you let strangers if, tell if you what to do? If they can criticize the glasses, I can take advice yeah. from them also. No, no. <laughs> I'm not I'm taking the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no way. Look at that. No, 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 no. How much did you drink? Is this looking straight on the wall? Look, look on the wall. Is that looking straight or crooked to you? No, it's crooked. Okay, okay. I just want to make sure you're still okay. there. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm still here. But you spoiled everything. Look at that. No, it's yeah. really strong. Now you're yeah. just drinking water. You should just eh? try, you know. You're just drinking water. No, me, I don't try. There are things that I don't try. Oh. Chris, have I ever? <laughs> no. I always tell Chris, me, I don't belong I there. tried today. I said, you want to try seafood? She said, no. You mm. know what she told me today? She tried her first Pepsi. She never like. a Pepsi. I've never ever drank Pepsi in my life. Today was the first day. Yeah. And I didn't like it. It's too sugary. It's not just yeah. my thing. I, was me, like, I never I'll tried never. a coffee in my life. I never tried a beer in my life. I never tried a cigarette in my mm-hmm. life. Never tried marijuana in my life. Those are four mm-hmm. things that most people... You never like, tried a beer? Never in my life. You don't drink beer? I just told you I never tried it in my life. When you're asking me never. Like, oh, no. Why? I don't like the smell, the look of it. I don't know. Uh, but he loves rum, sixty-three no, percent. I drink this. <laughs> Bring back childhood memories. Oh no, I, I have to take like some. Uh, what is it called? Some red stripe from here. It's the the beer yeah. from Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah. we have one in the in the fridge. Red stripe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. But since I already started on this, I'ma take it easy. You know. Yeah. Somebody hour, says but... Ray and his nephew ain't no toy. <laughs> no, no, this one ain't no toy. I know, man. You know, my butt and also. So oh. I know these things. We'll it's do crazy. this. We'll give us an hour. We'll be done. Thank you. Us, all the best, all the best, all the best. Uh, me, I don't belong there. Okay, you and me, all right. All right. Me, <laughs> I've never ever. Even Chris knows that. And let me tell you something funny, guys. Um, with me, if something is not my thing, like there's nothing like being influenced or being tempted. If I don't want to do something, I don't do it. For example, I don't eat seafood. I've never ever eaten things like crabs. I don't know. How do you call those things? I don't even know. Like Dream. shrimps. Yeah. Never in my Octopus. life. Mm, never. No matter how, like, they're actually very expensive. Even in my country, if you want to eat that type it's of crazy. food, it's really expensive. And girls really fancy it. Not only girls, but people, they really fancy it to be, like, you know, expensive and all that. But for me, I don't do that. And I mean, I don't do that. I and mean, I cannot. Not even for YouTube videos. <laughs> I don't like it either at all. So, if something is not my thing, I'm always... Um, confident to say no, I don't eat this or I don't drink this, and that is it, you know. That is it, but I totally respect everybody's choice. If you eat seafood, all the best, enjoy. But for me, I was raised in a, in a family where our best meal could be uh, do you know uh, the small fish they're called uh, omena in Swahili, uh. in English, they're called sardines. That could be our best meat, okay? So I grew up with that. And I think my lifestyle and what I am is how I was brought up. Like, I grew up in a no-meat family. Even beef. That's one of the reasons why I told you today is the first day that I tried the beef party. I can eat beef but once in a lifetime because my mom could buy beef once in a lifetime when my, my late granddad could visit us because he loved uh, beef. My mom could go and uh, buy some beef for him and uh, we could get some two pieces from it with a lot of soup in our plate. So as much as, um, you know, like I can still eat it, but I'm not a fan. So I don't like it. My favorite party in Jamaica is the soy party and uh, the kalaloo party. The chicken, I love chicken, but my favorite chicken is the road runner chicken. I don't know if you know what I mean. Like. That's uh, that's how they call it in Namibia, in Namibia and Zimbabwe, and I love that yeah, one. I, I heard runner. that South Africa, Johannesburg. I heard that for Road the first runner. time. Road runner. <laughs> Me too. Like in the southern part of of Africa, that's how they call it, like the local or free range chicken. Actually, where I come from, we call them Kenyeji. Kenyeji means free range chicken. That's my favorite. So. The other one is not like I don't like it so much, but at least I can eat chicken. But beef, I don't like it. But I can, but I don't like it. When it comes to seafood, it's a no-go zone for me. All right, it's either tilapia or um, red snapper. Those two, okay. 
that's that's the best I can go. But I totally uh, respect everybody's choice of food. Your life, your choice. Do whatever you feel like. Okay, eat anything. Uh huh. Team D for Kenyans abroad. Oh, thank you so much, Team D, you guys. But apparently, right now, my audience switched in a very big good way right now my number one audience that watch me is from the united states actually 40 percent of my mm. audience is from the united states followed by jamaica uh 15 percent actually most jamaicans live in the states so to me the state still is jamaica so jamaica is 40 plus 15 <laughs> like over 60 percent of my audience is jamaica right now then the third is kenya by 10 percent okay so, really yeah 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 wow 10 percent and you're so popular in kenya so imagine that's only 10 percent that's only but and it's so funny guys most of you just watch my videos but you haven't subscribed 70 percent of you haven't subscribed to my channel only 30 percent so please today is the day please 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 i need to get to 400k then soon we're gonna head to a half a million i can't wait when i'll get to a half a million oh gosh i just don't know you guys can you make it happen for me i just don't know but if i hit a half a million if i'm in jamaica we're gonna have a party in jamaica for a half a million we're gonna have a cake some food hang out somewhere i don't know maybe a beach party or something i don't know but wherever it will find me that's where we're gonna have a party the last time i had a party celebration I said, what? celebrating my youtube success was back when i was at 100k subscribers in kenya so ah uh, when i get to a half a million it will be a big thing but also if you get me to 400k we'll have a mini celebration just a mini celebration but if you get me to a half a million oh my gosh that's oh okay i have somebody calling jeez i'll call him back he's one of my jamaican friends actually if you want to go to downtown i can link you up to one of my good friends he just called right now his name is david i don't know if you downtown. guys yeah yeah downtown wow. kingston i don't know if you guys remember david i want to open a youtube channel for him because he loves it as well and i think he can make it as well okay so so far so good i love jamaica 886 people in the building oh he's calling me oh, 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 oh and i'm doing a live stream i don't want it to you know i'll call him later uh i remember you you at 100k yeah 100k was like oh wow like wow it was one of those milestones that i was really looking forward to so i can't wait for a half a million a half a million you guys but if if you do this we'll get there if you just I'm share sure. your favorite video to your five good friends every day whether it's your workmates whether it's your neighbors and tell them hey do me a favor please subscribe to this youtube channel as you all know guys i'm giving you good amazing content so it won't be just a subscription but uh, value for their subscription so please 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 help me get to a half a million that's my dream like it's one of my dreams a half a million and a million oh i can't just wait i can't just imagine i can't wait to get there like honestly guys so please help me out by subscribing promise to change eh? promise to change to your hairstyle and it will help you get to 501k subscribers. You are the donkey of the day, donkey. Paul Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> like, what does my hairstyle need to do with you? Like, my life, my choice. Okay, let me sit properly and tell you. Some of you don't really understand. Let me tell you. People like Paul, this is for you. You don't really understand. Being a content creator, it takes a lot. As you all know, I'm not just an ordinary travel vlogger. I don't just sit and do hair reviews and do uh, uh like makeup and do like my niche is one of the hardest to to like to measure in like you guys like i do real raw travel videos just mention any other travel vlogger that you know from let's say from my continent who goes hard as i go just tell me tell me i believe nine and i can proudly say if there's a travel content creator a female in africa that goes raw and hard I deserve the crown because what I do not just any other girl can do that so in connection to that like I just need to be in that environment to help me do that imagine uh, leave, uh, going and staying in um, in a salon for eight hours just doing my hair that time I could be making videos and all this and let me tell you something if you watch my old videos when my life was not busy trust me I used to do hair like that was all I knew Sitting in the salon for hours and hours and hours. That's, 
that's all I could do. But now I do something different. What I do is not just something you can just wake up and do. Just tell me, how many of you can travel alone as I do? Just tell me, more so you. Paul Campbell, can you? Can you? Some of you can't even go the places that I go. So you have nothing to tell me. My life, my choice. When I feel like I want to change it, I'll change it. But for now, this is what you'll see the rest of your life. <laughs> like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> what noise is but anyway, thing? guys, I love it. Trust me, like Jamaica is that quite one. hot. So imagine I'm sweating on the streets with the wigs and all these things. And if I want to do it once in a lifetime, I can do it. But for now... For you to tell me, like, change your hairstyle and I will help you campaign for 100 and 501k subscribers. It's just the donkey of the day. <laughs> you don't need to tell me that. I love it, you know. I love it. And it's the easiest. Like, I love water so much. So having hair and all these maintenance things, like, it's such, it's such a, a challenge. Like, I just want to be free. I want to live life in the most simplest way, and I love it myself, you know? I've been having this hairstyle three years now, so maybe two more years to come, I'll still have it, and maybe I'll have it forever. So it is what it is. You'd rather love it. <laughs> if you don't, find somewhere else, okay? You're free. Tell Paul to change his face. Yes, Paul, change your face. Change your attitude. Change your face, change your attitude. You know? <laughs> Paul, change your face and your attitude, all right? And that will help you. Uh, loving yourself is the best. <clears throat> me, I don't struggle with confidence, so that's, that's not me. So I don't even talk, all right? From tonight, you will get there, okay? Avoid those donkeys and let your natural hair stay the real you. Yeah, guys, there's some, there's just something just being, you know, just being you. This is what works best for me. Trust me. I don't want to lie. From here, I'm going to have a shower, wash my head, feel fresh, sleep so well. And uh, I love it. I love it. I love it just like that. You guys, you don't understand what it comes with washing your hair before going to sleep. Like, I love it, love it, love it, love it. I don't need a hair dryer to dry it up. I just, you know, have a towel and just rubbing it and that is it. And we are good to go. I like your natural hair. Thank you so much. Guys, this is what works best for me and I love it. It's three years now having it, so yeah. If I want to do something else, I can. It's not that I can do, but I love this. This this is the brand that you guys know, you know? Your hair is good. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Even if you don't like it, it's none of my business. Like, Paul, it's none of my business. <laughs> so today, Paul Campbell is our donkey of the day. I never said her hair doesn't fit. Okay, Paul is trying to justify this. <laughs> 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 Well, today is your day. <laughs> so if you have a negative mind, please stay away from this YouTube channel. You don't entertain that, okay? D, that's your solo hair naturalist. Yeah, Barbara James, thank you so much, my dear. I really appreciate it. Thank you so, so. Actually, I, I don't know if I told you. Uh, one of my friends, mm. um, Barbara James and Anne, when I came to Jamaica, they yeah. took me from the, uh, from the airport. And they were asking me, yeah. what's your, but you didn't share your flight details the with details, me. They could yeah. have picked you up. Yeah, but well, let me say big up to them. Barbara and, uh, Anne, and, Anne. and Anne, big yeah. up yourself. I got your message. Thanks for the love, yeah. And I'll be back in Montego Bay, you know. I still yeah. have to come back there. So I hope I can meet with you guys. I think it's the same Barbara who met up with Maru also. Yes. All right, yeah. The same Barbara. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I hope to meet up with you. Big up yourself. They're the best. Yeah. Jamaican hospitality. Jamaicans, Jamaicans ah. are amazing, you know. Amazing people. Tell me, how has been your experience so far being an African? For me, the moment I say I'm from Africa, it's like I've said I'm from heaven. People love Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People love it. Actually, but for you, you look like a Jamaican. I look like a Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, until I open my mouth, you know, I look like Jamaican. But sometimes I, I make a mush up that little part, you know. So when I do some part, well, then I'm gone. <laughs> then you're good. Yeah, but when they hear I'm from Africa, they love actually it. somebody in the comments is one who told me in my video, they were like, don't say you're from Kenya first, say you're from Africa, Africa first. Yeah. Then that just wins their hearts, you know. Yeah, they're like yeah. so happy. They're but like, I've oh. made so many divine connections. It's mm -hmm. amazing. So Jamaica is amazing. I'm so glad I'm here. Yeah. Finally, you know, I was supposed to come here three years ago. Then they canceled my flight because of COVID. And now I'm home, baby. Yeah, enjoy, yeah, enjoy, enjoy. Your, me, I'm living my Jamaican dream. You're living your dream. <laughs> <laughs> 
and it's funny the day that I decided I'm coming to Jamaica, like I told Kish, you know what, I'm going to Jamaica. Just like that, like I've always wanted to come to Jamaica. Actually, yeah. me going to Europe, it was my shortcut to Jamaica. Like actually, if it wasn't for my elder brother, I could have come to Jamaica like two months ago. Yeah. Because I was like, I just want to go to Europe for two weeks, <laughs> two weeks. Yeah. And my brother was like, no, you can't just have a whole Schengen visa and just go to Europe for two I just wanted to come here. But that was a nice plan. Yeah, yeah, but I'm glad I made it to Jamaica. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Personally, it's a dream come true, me being here in Jamaica. I love Jamaica. Everybody who comes to Jamaica, they definitely fall in love with it, you know? So, I love it. I love, love it. Love. Edwin, I see you. So, it has been one hour since I started the live stream. You guys have been here. Thank you so, so much. We have 885 people watching live, but 561 likes. Really? Really? That's not how we do it here. When you here, you have to give the video a like. So please, let's smash, 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 smash the like button. Almost 900 people watching, 896 now. So please smash the like button. Let's get a thousand likes. Let's get a thousand likes. Just to appreciate my hard work, guys. Like, being a true travel female commander is not just easy. Like, it takes a lot. <laughs> Okay, so 900 people in the building, we need to have 900 likes, actually a thousand likes before the end of the live stream, all right? I almost forgot to like Mighty Ant Digs, I know, I know, I know, but now is the time. But you guys, you know what, you guys will keep me going, honestly, like, imagine creating videos and I have nobody to watch, but you guys are there, right now a hundred people watching live, like, I have no reason not to keep going, so I just want to say... You guys, Team D, you're the best. You're the best audience I could ever ask for. I don't know how I can pay back, but I can pay back by giving you good content each and every single day. I'm trying my best, but you know, there are those days that, you know, as human beings, you feel, you feel weak. Like, you know, sometimes it's just a human, a human nature, but thank you so much for always being there to support me. You're the reason why I can trust night. Sometimes I edit till late in the morning, like I, some days I sleep at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., just editing the videos for you guys. But at the end of the day, it's worth it because I have a movement, which is you guys. For me, I call you guys a movement. Team D, we all a movement. Thank you so much for always showing up for me. Like, I can't imagine life without you guys. You give me the morale, the motivation to wake up every single day and go grind under the scorching sun. I'm like, you know what? I have, uh, you know, I owe you guys content. I, you know, I need to show you the world through my what lenses. So I really appreciate what that. Happened? I really appreciate chase, chase, Be to the world, <laughs> broken, mended. Cold. Thank you so, so much. You guys are the best. Like, honestly, just get to know D is so proud of you guys. I totally, totally appreciate your love, your support, always showing up for me. It means the world. Like, what can i just explain what i mean like when i say you mean the world i totally mean it you mean the world can you imagine being a youtuber and nobody's watching your videos it's horrible it's horrible the youtube channels that have a million subscribers but one thousand people watching their videos like it's horrible i can't dream of having such a channel but for what we're doing you guys you're the best thank you so much for being an active audience for always rooting for me for always defending me, for always fighting for me. Sometimes I look at their comments and I'm like, oh gosh, what did I pay these people to do all this for me? So you guys, I just want to appreciate you guys and just get to know that I'm always grateful. And when you guys say hello to me on the streets, it means the world to me. Like today I was creating videos at uh, New Kingston and uh, I met quite a number of you guys. Thank you so, so, so much. You mean the whole world to me. Whenever you see me, don't, 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 don't hesitate to say hello. Trust me, I'll say hello back to you, all right? And also, if you're watching from Jamaica, you are a real estate agent. Maybe you're selling mansions or villas or cars or what, and you'd wish me to showcase it to the world, feel free to reach me out on Instagram, okay? Feel free to reach me out on Instagram. I will truly, truly, truly appreciate. And today, I want to give a special shout out to one of uh, Jamaican content creator. Okay, could you please help me with your phone so that I can yeah. search her channel uh, and, and just get channel, to know? Yeah. It's on my Instagram. Could you please click on my Instagram story? Is it no, no, on my community tab on YouTube? I currently shared it there uh, yes. so that I can give her a shout out. Okay, so if you're a Jamaican watching to me. The number of subscribers doesn't really matter. If you want to collaborate with me, feel free. I have collaborations that I'm yet to do, but from next week, 
I'll be doing collaborations with uh, Colas Smith. I'll be doing a collab with her. And also Jessica, I'll be doing a collaboration with her. If you're a YouTuber watching from Jamaica, to me, subscribers doesn't really matter. Even if you're starting YouTube today, as long as you come with a good energy, don't hesitate to reach me out, okay? So today, I want to give a special shout out. Oh, thank you so much for subscribing, Kish My World. Thank you for subscribing to her channel, okay? So I want to give a special shout out to Sophie Love Lifestyle. This is her YouTube channel. I don't know if you got... Oops. Oh, what? Yeah. What happened? Where's Sophie? <laughs> Who look good? Sophie, she does Sophie cooking Love. in Jamaica. Where's Sophie right now? I don't know if she's on the live or not. Sophie. Sophie Love Lifestyle. Okay. Oh, wow. Her YouTube channel has a hundred and a uh, hundred and something subscribers. So guys, I want you to help me get her to a thousand subscribers. All of us, if you are my moderator, all right, please, please, please share the link of her YouTube channel. Before I end the YouTube, not the, before I end today's live stream, I want to see your support. Can I jump in for a sec? Yes, sure. Maybe there's some YouTubers that cook. You know, they can always come and use the platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make yeah. a nice, authentic... Yeah, if you're a YouTuber and you do some cooking, if you want to come and uh, cook and we can stream live for your YouTube channel, yeah, we're looking feel free, somebody. feel free, feel free to reach us out. So I want somebody to pin this, com uh, to pin uh, her YouTube, to actually drop the link of her YouTube channel. Then I want to pin it. And I want to see if you've subscribed. I want to see... Subscribe, 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 subscribe. I just want to, like, see how you guys can be loyal, all right? And remember, she's a Jamaican, and I'm here in Jamaica. So what's the best way to pay back if I can't support local content creators from Jamaica? Like, the love I'm getting here is, is so much. So to me, it doesn't hurt if I get to share and spread the love by asking you guys to support her. And soon, I'll be also doing, I can also do a collab with her, okay? So, her name is Sophie Love Lifestyle. Here. Sophie Love Lifestyle. Anybody, if you're my moderator, could you please, could you, maybe Kish, could you please share this link here? Yeah, so that I, I can do it. it. I just want Love to see, lifestyle. subscribe, 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 okay? So today, I just want to give her a special shout out and I want us, we are 888 right now watching. If all of us subscribe here, it will be, it will be the best thing for you guys to do for me tonight, all right? Uh -huh. Kish, I'm waiting. Yeah, very fast, very fast. Yeah, I'm waiting. <clears throat> Trudy Watson, thank you so much. Heidi, you're looking so lovely. Thank you so much, Trudy. You're the best. Trudy Watson, thank you so much. I really appreciate that, okay? Yeah, so you can pin it. Uh, let me see it. Let me see it. Uh, I can't see it still. I'm a new subscriber. Thank you much. So, guys, maybe tomorrow it will be your day, okay? Tomorrow it will be your day. And I love her content. I would wish to learn how to cook Jamaican food. So, Kisha, I can't see it. Really? Yeah, I can't see it. Could you send it multiple times, maybe? I can't see it. Or maybe it's not allowed to paste links on your live. No, you can paste it. Any of my moderators watching, Maria F.E.L. Gonzalez, thank you so much. One of my moderators that I see here. Could you please maybe help me share her link? Chris, could you do it for me, please? I'm not a moderator. No, you can still share it. I don't so know what I the link is. I don't, I'm sorry. On my on latest his, Instagram, to, uh, on my community tab on yeah. YouTube, I yeah. shared her channel. Yes. So you could just help me drop the link here. Sure. Yeah. You know, sometimes there's settings where people can't put links there mm -hmm. if they're not moderators. So maybe you have that one. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. So guys, today I want you to help me subscribe to this Where's YouTube channel. I want us to get her to a thousand subscribers. Okay. okay. She does amazing content Talent. when it comes to cooking. Doreen Small, please help me. I can't share without her in the chat. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she's busy or maybe she's somewhere. I don't know. Doreen, please just help me share her channel, okay? Please, please, please. Link, please. It's on my, it's my, it's on my community tab, okay? Maria, please go on my community tab. You'll see the channel that I just shared. Doreen Small, just go on my community tab on YouTube. You'll find the latest wow. channel that I just shared. One of your moderators says you can't uh, share if she's not on the chat. No, just share it because I said it. No, no, okay? it's not possible. 
Oh, if she's not on the chat. She has to be in the chat for the link to be there. Oh, she has to be in the chat. Yeah. So it's too bad maybe she's not in the chat. Because even me have tried well, sending it. Like in. All we have to do is type it in. Oh, Sophie it. Love Lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, Sophie Love Lifestyle. It's too bad she's not in the chat. So it's not possible for for you for to... Wow, link. I didn't know um, it's like that. Yeah. Wow, that's That's why new. I said it like three, four times. It doesn't uh-huh, come up. It doesn't come up. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Paula says meet up with Jessica. Yes. I'm going to meet up. I'm going to meet with her so soon. The collab will be up, up, up. All right. It's so sad that uh, Sophie is not in the live in the live chat because we can't share her channel. So any of my moderators, so even my moderators my can't moderator, share. Do you see mm-hmm. me? Eh? Even your moderators can't share. Did you just see me? No. Ah, the comments are going so far. It shows my comment at the bottom. Yeah, but it doesn't come. If it's the link. Yeah, it doesn't come. Eh, hey, but here you see something else. The comments. I can only see Harriet as the latest comment. But no. I don't know, but Sophie, it's so sad that you're not in the live. I yeah. wish you are in the live chat so that I could help you promote your channel. So, so sad for you, you know. Because I didn't know you can't share if the person is not on the live. Yeah. Oh, maybe I think these are the messages. This message is held for review. I think that is Yeah, it. probably. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because otherwise everyone would come and post their links there, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah, and just bombard the chat. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. You can share just not in the live chat. All right. I just shared it on my community tab, but it could be easy if you guys could just subscribe like right now if she was in the chat. But so sad she's not in the chat. So the name of her YouTube channel is uh, Sophie Love Lifestyle. She's a Jamaican. She does cooking vlogs. Maybe I can just show you. And you can go type in. But it's such a pity she's not in the live. So. Such a pity, yeah. Yeah. Sophie Love Lifestyle. Yeah, please, please, please go, go subscribe to her YouTube channel. It will be my humble request that we get her to a thousand subscribers, okay? That is the name. But if she could be here, it could be much more better because the reflection, I'm trying to do this so that the reflection is not mm. too much because it's whitish. You can't even see it. It's yeah. crazy. Could but you after, maybe after type the, it? After the live chat, they should run to your community tab. And just yeah. yeah. Drop her link in the chat. It's hard to drop yeah. it because she's not here. I have subscribed. Andrew, you're the best. Thank you so much. I really appreciate. Please do a collab with Sunrise TV. So many of you have told me that. I will do it. Thank you. I'll reach them out. Hopefully they accept. Not everybody accepts. So hopefully they do. If they don't, it's okay. I did it, D. Kelvin, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Barbara, thank you so much. Subscribed. I just subscribed, D. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you guys, you're the best. <laughs> it's such a pity that she's not in the live because we could just pin the name of uh, the link of her YouTube channel, but it's such a pity she's not watching live right now. How I wish you could just watch so that we could get to a thousand subscribers today, today, today. All right, Sophie Love Lifestyle. Yeah, now I can see it. Okay, mm. I don't know if I can pin this because pinning it on my phone is hard. Could you maybe help me do it? I can't click on your comment. It's so hard. Uh huh. See? No. Anyway, I think your moderators can do it. Like Dorian Small, somewhere I see. Yeah, Master Dorian Thompson. Small. Yeah. Mas, uh, uh, Kelvin Thompson, please help me um, get her name, okay? Beautiful voice, God bless you. Melody, God bless you too. You mean the whole world to me. You're the best, okay? Goldie, you're the best. Just subscribe. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I love watching Christmas list and you together. Thank you so much. Davin Liscom. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrongly. D Mwango, how you doing? Wagwan. Huh? Bless up, Kish my world. Love you, bro. That's from Bong's vibe. Bong's vibe. Big up on yourself. 
David in the building. Thank you so much, David. So guys, could you please help me subscribe to Sophie Love Lifestyle YouTube channel? Sophie Love Lifestyle. Please, guys, can you please go subscribe to her channel? Lenny, you're the best. Hugs, you're the best. Lenny, just subscribe. Soon, she will actually be teaching me how to cook Jamaican food. Okay, there we go, from Kelvin. Top. Maybe I should get my laptop so that I can You can pin, yeah, you have to pin the laptop. Yeah? Mm. My, please, could you help me get it? It's, it? it's here <clears throat> on the bed. Yeah. <coughs> Aha, uh -huh, because maybe I can use my laptop to pin it. Because on my phone, it's so hard to pin it. D, I just subscribed with the best. Joyce, thank you so much. Subscribe to Sophie. Ali CJ Sub, thank you. Guys, I'm asking you to subscribe because soon you'll be seeing me learning how to cook. She'll be teaching me how to cook the chicken jack, uh, how to cook, um, how do you call it? The Jamaican national dish, it's called... Um, Curry goats? No, no, no. This other thing. Uh, guys, the name just disappeared. This normal fruit. Aki. Okay. Oh, okay. That's what I wanted to say. Aki, she'll be teaching me how to cook. So I just want you to help me support her. This is the best way I can pay back. Mm, I want to pin it. I'm just... Uh, start. Uh, I'm just doing what? Starting my laptop turning it on so that I can pin it. Guys, please, please, please help me get her a thousand subscribers. It's not so much to ask for. This is what we normally do. My brother and I, we support so many people because you guys support us. So it doesn't hurt by me asking you guys to support her. Okay? And uh, let me see. Let me see. There we go. Mm hmm let me see uh -huh. live i want to pin her comment it's nice people are subscribing man big how many subscribers now you can go click and i can i can check and see yeah now she's at uh, let's see but i don't know if they reflect immediately it's okay just see what 184 184 she was at 100 yeah wow so 84 people have subscribed oh my gosh you guys sophie let me see her channel Sophie Love Lifestyle. Sophie. Sophie Love Lifestyle. Or maybe you can pin the link. Sophie Love Lifestyle. Maybe I can pin it, right? Even the From link. From my side, right? Yeah. Pin message. Okay, guys. I want I want a favor from you. Okay. Sophie Love Lifestyle. This is the favor that I want from you guys. I want you to go and subscribe here. She's currently at 186 subscribers. And she's a Jamaican. Okay, she's a beautiful lady from Jamaica. And I want us guys to get her to 1,000 subscribers because she'll be teaching me how to cook. Okay, let me share. Mm -hmm. Share. Uh, WhatsApp and all this copy link. Okay, copied. Now I go to the live stream. She'll be showing me how to cook. And I don't want to be there and she doesn't have a thousand subscribers. That will be so, so, so low of me. I want us to get her to a thousand subscribers before she starts to teach me how to cook. So this is the link. Quick, fast. Okay. A replace pinned message yes all right guys the link is at the top the link is at the top the link is at the top now we have the link can you click on, on it and see if it takes mm. you to the channel it takes you to the channel right yes so guys yes. we have the link there we have the link and I want us to get her a thousand subscribers we are at almost a thousand of us so I want you to help me tomorrow it will be you because as I said Jamaicans are showing me so much love so the best way I can pay back is also to support local Jamaicans, okay? That's the best way I can do. Just to say thank you so much, Jamaica, for being so good to me. Everybody says, hey, D, Jamaica looks so good. Oh, she's at 2.13 you know? now. 2 she's at 2.13. Yeah, wow, man. you guys, you guys. <laughs> hey! Let's go, let's go, let's, let's go. go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get her a thousand on this live stream. Let's get her a thousand. Paste, okay? There we go. Paste. Okay, I just pasted it. Okay, 
so you guys what you need to do is go subscribe then come back and say i just did i just did i want to give you a special shout out okay i just did i just did you know honestly like jamaicans really love me so 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 much as you all can see people are showing me around showing me so much love not harassing me not doing anything that makes me feel less of a person so the best way for me is to support also like locals and uh, because she'll be helping me cook because I want to know how to cook typical Jamaican food so how can I cook if I don't have somebody to teach me I need to learn so she'll be teaching me on how to do that so if you get her a thousand subscribers I'll be confident to do a, a collab with her because I don't want her to show me how to cook without a thousand subscribers you know so it will be an honor if you guys go subscribe then come back and tell me d you know what i just subscribed that's all i need and i promise you you'll see good content i don't want you guys to subscribe to channels that won't give you value trust me any channel that i say please go subscribe i have to check what they do and be sure they do some amazing job because i love jamaica i want to know how to cook i want you guys to see me cooking aki and salt fish how to cook jack chicken i also want to know how to cook parties because parties are my favorite in jamaica like my number one i want to know how to cook them so i can't do it by myself i want somebody to teach me to give me the classes and because she'll be doing that it's not too much to ask if you guys go and show her love and get her a thousand subscribers and you guys you never let me down i see everybody saying subscribe subscribe just leave the chat go click on this link subscribe then come back and tell me d you know what i just subscribed i just did that's the comment that i want to, to see i want to give a special shout out to kog productions you always support me thank you so much for donating two dollars it means the world to me thank you thank you so much okay kog productions please go subscribe to sophie love lifestyle okay Thank you so much. And also there's somebody else who donated $10. I don't know if I gave them a shout out. Can you check the name for me, please? Mm, KOG, not KOG, no, no, no. someone else. Yeah. Ah, I can't see the comment on my side. Uh, it's, it's Can okay. you see it? There's somebody who donated $10 mm. and I didn't give him or her a shout out. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me, okay? If you you, the, you are the first person to donate, I was like, I'm going to give a shout out, but I got carried away. It means the world to me. Thank you so much for donating. I wish I gave you a shout out, but now I can't see your name. If you're the one who donated $10, please just come back here and say, it's me, okay? And please don't lie to me, okay? Yeah, it's too far back. You can't see. Yeah, it's way. Yeah. It, she, she or he did it at the beginning of the live stream. If you donated from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you. Okay, thank you so much. There's another donation that just came in. Jarreel S V G eh? S V G. Jarreel. Jarreel, thank you so much. Ja bless. Ja bless. This means the whole world to me. Jarreel. Ja bless, it means the world to me. Thank you so much. Actually, creating content in Jamaica a day, I part with over a hundred. Not my house is a thousand US dollars a day. A thousand US dollars, not a thousand, a hundred US dollars a day. Okay, me moving around and just moving around, it's a hundred Jamaican dollars. Okay, eating, creating content, no, transportation. Dollars. 100 US dollars. Yeah, 100. It's so a day I spend like almost 300 Jamaican dollars every single day. Every single day. But when I'm with Kino, it's a free ride. But when he's not there, like today, I was alone. Definitely, I have to spend. So when you donate direct like that, it means the world to me. Thank you so much. Ja bless. Ja real SVG. Thank you so, so much. You know, it means the whole world to me. You know? All right, she's at 255 subscribers. Hey, you guys. Yeah. Eish, the eish, real warriors. Eish, the real warriors. Your moderator should always remind you of what? Tell me. <laughs> hmm? Please go subscribe to her channel. It's not too much to ask for. Imagine how you guys are showing me so much love. Like, it doesn't hurt if we support one of our own. 
from Jamaica because she'll be teaching me how to cook soon. So it doesn't mean like you know it, it's not too much. Huh? Somebody said, uh, I want to see. You spent 300 USD a day. Yes, guys, a day. A day. Where I'm saying is 100 US dollars one night. Because, guys, I love staying in hostels, but it's too hard to do even a live stream from a hostel. Trust me. You can't talk like this in a hostel because I know I can get cheaper accommodation like sleeping in a hostel. But if I have to sleep in a hostel, I won't be having such a live stream, you know? No privacy, no live stream, no nothing, which is really hard. So for me to come here and do a live stream, it means I have to have somewhere that is private. I can shout. <laughs> I mean, I can speak to you guys, you know. I need somewhere that has quick, fast internet because, you know, in the hostel, I'm not alone. We are so many of us using the internet at the same time. And I can't just be selfish to tell people turn off your data so that i can do a live stream that will be so mean of me so that means i have to go hard i have to spend 300 dollars a day just to give you content to do a live stream and just to keep going and uh, i just want to say thank you guys for supporting me because it means the world at least i'm confident even if i spend so much but at least i'm, I'm like i have a movement i have a family i have to do this i owe you guys a lot your subscription means the whole world to me. You being there, it means the whole world to me. So, yeah, a day I spend $300. So, it is what it is. But again, it's because of the love that I have for you guys. So, if you can support me directly by donating, I will appreciate. But do it willingly. I'm not forcing anybody. If you feel like you want to support me by donating, feel free, all right? And I will really appreciate it. Because me, I'm doing this content, I'm not selling my content. It's free of charge for you guys to learn, enjoy, see the world through my lenses. I pay for flights, I pay for accommodation. I pay A day in Jamaica, 300 US dollars off my pocket. So it is what it is, but I appreciate you guys, okay? I want to give a special shout out to... Okay, Jareel, I already gave you a shout out. Thank you again a million times. Even the first person that donated, because the chat goes up so quickly, I am not able to see your name. But wherever you are, just get to know Dee is grateful and she really appreciates. Thank you so much. God bless. Also, there's another person. Um, let me see. Uh, I think I can see that. Let me see. Uh, Exonat. Eh? Exonat. Exanot0704. Sorry if I pronounced your name bad in a bad way. Sorry. Exanot0704. Thank you so much for donating $5. It means the whole world to me. God bless. May your well never run dry. Okay. Thank you so much. There's also another donation. Mm. Prof Profound Travels. Thank you so much for donating $20. Profound Travel says, good to see you still glowing out, eh? you still glowing out there, D. Keep up the great work and spreading that positive energy coming from the diaspora in Los Angeles. Thank you so much, Profound Travels. Thank you for the good, kind message. Such messages keep me going, you know. If you can't, you know, if you can't do anything for your girl, just leaving a positive comment, watching the video, sharing, it means the whole world to me. You always being here, it means the whole world to me. Thank you so, so much. Profound travels. May your well never run dry. God bless. Even you guys watching my videos, being here for me, it means the whole world. You really have no word. Like, you really have no idea what it means to me. But I just want to make you know and realize you are extremely important to me. You mean the whole world. Literally, you mean the whole world. If you guys were not there for me, I could not be in Jamaica today. That's the hard truth. I couldn't be able to travel, but because of you guys, I'm able to be where I am today. So I want to give all the special thanks to God for giving me life and for giving me such an amazing audience, okay? So God bless all of us, all right? And also, I want to give another special shout out to KOG Productions for donating another five dollars, okay? Thank you. No, two dollars, actually. 
Thank you so much. It means the whole world to me. I feel like drinking some water. I wanna get some water, guys. I think my throat is drying up. Have some rum. No, rum is not my thing. <laughs> I've never ever drunk rum and I don't think I should. Marcia Thompson, thank you so much. So guys, here we go. The challenge is still on. Taste. So guys, I need a favor from you. You know, when I need some support, some help, you're my family. You're the ones who should come through for me. So today I have a humble request. If you love what I do, okay? If you really love D. My request today is you help me get Sophie Love uh, Lifestyle, a thousand subscribers. She'll be showing me how to cook very soon because I have so much love for this country. I want to get to know how to cook real authentic Jamaican food. But Sophie want to give me the lessons, okay? Want to be doing a collab with her. And it's such a pity or it will sound so bad if I'll do a collab and she doesn't have a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much, Kish. A glass of water. It. Yeah, thank you. So you guys, please help me, help me, help me, help me. Okay? Help me, help me subscribe to her channel. This is the link. This is the link. It's right there from me. Okay? It means the whole world to me, guys. If you help me, if you help me. I don't know. What's the count right now? What's the count, Kish? Mm, let's see. 264. Hey, you guys are the best. 264, wow. 264, wow. I want us to get her a thousand subscribers. So, I want to see. I just did. I just did. Please go subscribe. Go subs it's not too much to ask for. For those who know me and my brother, we support so many content creators. So many. So many content creators. The people that hang around me, when I say, guys, go subscribe, we're always there to show love. So her channel is not at a thousand subscribers. And she'll be showing me how to cook. It will sound so bad for me to be there without her getting a thousand subscribers. Like, it doesn't, it's a, it doesn't feel good, guys. And as I told you, I have to bring you content. You want to see deep cooking Jamaican food, like aki and salt fish. I want to get deep in the culture. I want to know how to make parties. You know, so I can't do this by myself. I need a local to teach me. So if you want to see that type of content, me cooking and just getting to know how it's done here in Jamaica, Please help me subscribe to this YouTube channel because soon I'll even be doing a collab with her and she's going to be bringing you amazing content. And that's the best way for me to give back to Jamaica, supporting locals, YouTube channels. You guys, you know Kino. Thank you so much for supporting Kino. He's a Jamaican uh, content creator. It means the whole world to us. Thank you so much for supporting Yaman. Thank you so much for supporting Top Lodge. Today, I'm here for Sophie Love Lifestyle, okay? I'm just requesting you guys to get her to a thousand subscribers. That's my humble request today. It's not too much to ask for. And you guys, you never let me down. So, I just want to see if you have subscribed, okay? I want to give a special shout out to Alison Braham for donating $10. Big up yourself, D. You've done well, Spanish Town girl. Wow! I love Spanish Town. You guys have no idea. I love Spanish Town. I have Team D squad right there. People like Khan. You guys. People like uh, Aizula. Aizula is one of um, Spanish Town great artists. I can't wait. Even tomorrow, I want to show up for him. He'll be doing a recording for his music video from Spanish Town, which is one of the garrisons in Jamaica. She'll be having a video shoot. Guys, you have no idea how I love Jamaicans. Like, you have no idea. I want to be showing up for him. He'll be doing a shoot for his video. We want to support him as well. Like, I'd rather, I'd rather not go to the beach tomorrow but show up for him. I love how he sings. He sings with a lot of passion. If you guys have watched my previous video, Aizula, you know, he sings one of my favorite songs, like, so well, you know? Like, I don't know. Do you, want me, guys, do you want me to sing? If you want me to sing my favorite Jamaican song from a local Jamaican from Spanish town, let me know. But I can only sing if you have subscribed. If we get, first of all, right now, let's get her to 500, to 500 subscribers first. Then I'll sing. 
you know, 500, then I'll sing. Then 1,000, I'll sing the whole song. <laughs> okay? So, big up yourself, Alison Braham from Spanish Town. This means the whole world to me. Big up to you. Thank you so much. May your well never run dry. Actually, my favorite song from Spanish Town, it also says, Ja, watch over me now. Okay? Lightning, thunder. Okay? Uh, uh, um, no, lightning... Yeah, thunder and thunderbolts, shake them jar, and um, I'm forgetting the lyrics. <laughs> I don't want to sing, I just want to remember the lyrics. If you subscribe, I'll sing the song. <laughs> so I want to see you subscribe. So Alison Braham, thank you so much. This means the whole world to me, all right? Big up yourself. You know, tomorrow I'll also be in Spanish town. I want to show up for Aizula. He'll be having a music video shoot. I want to show up for him because you guys, you mean the whole world to me, all right? I'll be in Spanish town tomorrow. Alison, maybe we can meet. I'll be in Spanish town tomorrow, all right? Welcome to Jamaica, D. Thank you so much. Yeah, thunder, lightning, earthquake, and thunder bells shake them down i'm singing and you haven't subscribed no 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 <laughs> if you subscribe i'll sing with my horrible voice i'll sing i'll give it my best all right so this is the link here please go subscribe then i'll sing let's if we hit 500 i'll sing right now okay we are at we are 758 here come on guys run over and, uh, and to subscribe to sophie love lifestyle Gaia's world, thank you so much. You're the best, okay? So, guys, if we get her 500, I'll sing. I'll sing. Watch over me, dad. Do you know that song? No, I've heard If you've heard my, if you've watched my video, no, you'll sing it. You all me. Yeah. <laughs> I can't sing, but this song means the world to me. Like, every day when I wake up, it's more of a prayer. Like, God, please watch over me. This feeling, I can't resist you know he blesses me in a twinkle of an eye ja never let my well run dry to me it's such a powerful prayer to me i see the song as a prayer that's why i love the song you know earthquake no it's lightning earthquake and thunderbolts shake them dim wango and let them fall <laughs> This is how that guy sings. You know? <laughs> yeah, it comes in so well. <laughs> Watch over me, Ja. Lightning, earthquake, and thunderbolts. Shake them down and let them fall. Strike through. Don't sing for them until it's. Oh, I don't sing until it's 500. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't sing until it's 500. I love the song. Somebody says, I love that song too. I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Watch over me, Ja. Lightning, earthquake, and thunderbolts. Shake them, Dimwango, and let them fall. Strike through my wicked heart for me. Watch over me, Ja. Lightning. Earthquake and thunderbolts, shake them, Dimwango, and let them fall. <laughs> I will love, 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 love this song. Tomorrow, I'll be showing up for him. I had my own plans, but since he's one of my favorite Jamaican artists, I'm going to be going, uh, showing you his story, because I believe in this world. The same thing you told me, everybody has a story. If you ask somebody to open their mouth and say something about their life, everybody has a story. And tomorrow I'll be in Spanish town. Spanish town is known to be one of those dangerous garrisons in Jamaica. But to me, that's where I find love. Imagine, like, this guy, he's such a talented artist. I'd wish to see him succeed. Also, Christmas list. Uh, is going to do something for the youth there. They have a studio coming up, uh, Rise uh, Youths on the Rise. So there's also a studio there that we want to help and see it. 
you know, coming up so that the youths can actually record and uh, go beyond what they can do. Like, I mean, recording their songs there. So it will be so good for us to just support local talents here in Jamaica. All right. So it's not too much for me to ask from you guys. All right. So Kelvin Thompson, thank you so much for donating $10. Kelvin has always been my number one fan. Not today. I know some of you guys would have maybe found me yesterday, one month ago, two months ago, one year, six months. Kelvin, we've come, we've grown together from scratch. If there are those fans that I can truly say I'm proud of and I know any point of life, they're going to be there for me. Kelvin Thompson is one of them. He has never left. Always there to support me. Kelvin, just get to know from the bottom of my heart i've never ever met kelvin in my life i have no idea how he looks like trust me but he's always there to support me kelvin just get to know i'm forever and always grateful okay god bless may your well never run dry okay thank you so much kelvin guys if you want me to sing i already sang so it's time for you to pay back i want you guys to pay back I want you guys to pay me back for singing. I want you guys to pay me back for singing. And do you know how I want you guys to pay back? By subscribing to Sophie Love Lifestyle. I want us to get a thousand subscribers. Watch over me, ja. Lightning, earthquake, and thunderbolts. Shake them, Dimwango, and let them fall. <laughs> I love that part. I'm just shaking the haters, not you guys. I'm shaking the haters, you know, and the bad energy. I want to let them fall, okay? Hazel, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you so much for being a member. Hazel, you mean the whole world to me. Thank you so, so, so much. Big up to you, Hazel, from Hong Kong. She's a Filipino. You're the best. You're the best, okay? Thank you so much. So guys, please help me out by subscribing to Sophie Love Lifestyle, okay? Then I want to sing for you one of my favorite Jamaican songs, okay? So guys, I'm asking you to subscribe. It's not too much. Jamaicans have really accepted me in their space. They show me love each and every single day. They show me around, even going to the garrisons. I can't go there just by myself. But through them, because they're locals, they show me around. So it's not too much to ask for. When I ask you guys to help me support, you going out, Chris? <laughs> Chris looks so stylish. <laughs> no, I want to go out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Eh, Chris is a fashionista. Eh? Real fashion. Real fashion. So, Chris, yes. do you want to hear my favorite song? I've heard it. You've heard it? Heard it. <laughs> Even Chris knows the song. <laughs> yeah. Nobody can be around me and they don't know the song. You must know it. I play it a thousand times in the house. Every single day. That is it. That is it. Because we really, really, really appreciate the Jamaican love. And I'm telling them soon we'll be going to Spanish Town. There's a studio you're working on. Yes. And also they can help us uh donate something towards the studio because now they have a go for me for themselves the money doesn't get to me the money gets direct yes to them to the studio okay so you can donate to them they have a go for me i'm gonna put the link in the description if you want to support local talent in jamaica feel free to donate to their go for me it's not my go for me it's their go for me okay it's a group of artists, youth, youths on the rise, okay? So they're building up a studio because you can't be an artist and you don't do any recordings, you know? You must showcase your work by recording. So feel free, okay? Miss Sway, thank you so much for donating $3. This means the whole world to me. Miss Sway, she's also a YouTuber from Kenya. And uh, big up yourself, Miss Sway. This means the whole world to me, all right? Thank you so, so, so much, okay? This means the whole world to me. God bless, okay? So guys, I don't know how far we've gone. I don't know how far we've gone. It will be so sad for her to teach me how to cook without her having a thousand... 293. 293? 293 strong. Ah, still it's less. Yeah, but at least 300 now in the next five minutes. Yeah, you guys, yeah. it means a lot, you know? 
so please guys i have a request there's this youtube channel she's called um sophie love lifestyle uh she's a jamaican content creator she does cooking and because i would love to show you guys my cooking uh techniques cooking jamaican foods and as you all know i'm new here i'm not a jamaican but i would wish to learn how to cook so that when i'm back in kenya back in my village i can cook congrats mom aki and salt fish but then i need to take some cooking lessons and this is where i'll be taking my cooking lessons so please 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 help me by subscribing to her youtube channel it's not too much to ask for a candle doesn't go off by lighting another candle you know what i mean instead we get to shine bright all of us okay i would wish to see good people win like chris the way chris puts it you know i'm reading all the comments mm -hmm. dimwango sent me oh wow you Even guys this? Here from D Mwango. Wow, Chris, you're the best. Ah. Wow. So you guys, I want to go through the comments and I want to see, you know. Just go there, subscribe and leave a comment. D Mwango sent me here. All right. This is the name of the YouTube channel. Hazel, I see you. Thank you so much for loving me for free and conditionally. I really appreciate that. It means the whole world to me. All right. And guys, I just want to say thank you so much for always showing up for my people. When I ask you guys to go support them, you go and subscribe. That is the whole world to me, okay? Sexy Cooking says, I just subscribed to Sophie channel. Thank you so much. Sexy Cooking, are you from Jamaica? Let me know. And if you do wish to come to where we are, if you are a Jamaican and you can cook, feel free to reach us out. You can come cook with us here and we can uh, support your channel we can stream your cooking activity live so feel free to reach christmas list or me okay every evening we can as well have like cooking shows from locals jamaicans if you have a youtube channel that entails cooking feel free you can reach us out you can come do a cooking show and we can stream live as you cook and we can help your channel grow yeah and chris can eat me too i can eat kish my world can also eat because yeah. we are new in jamaica so we wish to get into the jamaican food okay uh sexy cooking says yes i'm in montego oh okay but when i'll be in montego bay i'll let you know we can meet up we can collab you can cook we can stream i can help you also grow okay so thank you so much sexy cooking next time it will be you all right I Thank you. More. What's the sexy cooking about? Like, mm? What makes the cooking sexy? Yeah, I would wish to see. That's why I'm asking him to uh, on her. I don't know if it's a him or a her, but definitely sexy cooking. That should be a she. I don't know. It's cooking when you're sexy. Yeah, but in whatever way, feel free to reach us out. You can come give us a cooking show, and we can stream live. What do I mean? I'm here also to promote locals, local vloggers. Okay sexy cooking oh she oh nice sexy cooking it's a she okay. yeah chris is saying okay yeah. <laughs> because he wanted to know how yeah. comes it's sexy cooking so yeah. she's a lady you can come cook we can stream your channel live as you cook and help you grow as well okay sexy cooking do you follow me on instagram let me know if you do i can help you also by sharing your youtube channel on my community tab sexy cooking reach me out on instagram all right sexy cooking i cannot forget your name sexy cooking all right all right guys this is the link and uh i just want you to help me out and once more special shout out to this cloth line gino bambino she sent me a lot of goodies that means i'm truly loved she sent me hoodies pants this vest that i'm wearing also i love it so much it suits the jamaican weather so just help me appreciate her also by following her on Instagram, Gino Bambino. She's such a beautiful young lady, hustling just like, uh, like I do. So if you subscribe to her channel, it means the world to me. Not her channel, but her Instagram page. And you can also order, okay, from her store. Anything, whether it's swimsuits, whether it's uh, custom-made like what I'm wearing, you can see at the back it's written D Mwango. Okay, 
So please, 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 big up to you, Gino, for these amazing gifts. I didn't buy them. She sent me so many gifts for free. So I just want to say thank you so much and check her out. If you're looking to buy anything from Jamaica when it comes to cloth, clothes, custom made, I can highly recommend this. Gino Bambino. You see, she even wrote my name at the back. You see? It's D. Really Mwango. Yeah, I love it. And because of the weather, it suits the weather so. And I love the fashion. It looks like a long dress. I just, I just like it like that, you know? So please, big shout out to her. Go follow her on Instagram and place your orders. Even water bottles. She can actually do, uh, uh, do custom made water bottles for you she can write your name whether it's a birthday gift whether it's something the way you wish it to be at a good price okay so be sure to check her out so outfit of the day is from gino outfit of the day okay so i don't know where we've reached so far 300 plus 300 plus yeah ma'am hi you guys are the best kish can you imagine yeah. What does it mean by getting 300 subscribers a day? It takes a lot. It's yeah, a lot. It a lot. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's, it's not just lot. an easy thing. Yeah. Eh? And too bad she's not on the chat. Maybe she's busy or maybe, I don't know. Somebody should call her, you know. It would be much more impactful. Yeah. When are you coming to the USA? Soon, okay? Gino Bambino means Gino baby in Italian. Oh, Gino baby. Oh wow, Gino Bambino. Shout out to you. Big up. Big up yourself. I love the support. Keep it up. Yeah, guys. You, you, you all, like you guys, many of us haven't subscribed. So which language do you want me to speak? Patwa or what? Yeah? I'm trying to say, help me by subscribing to this YouTube channel because she'll be showing me how to cook. It's so, so, so bad for me to go and do a collaboration or her showing me how to cook and the channel is less a thousand subscribers. It's such a shame. So I don't want that shame on me, okay? Please, 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 please subscribe, okay? Honestly, guys, like it will be so bad for me to do a collab with her with the less a thousand subscribers. So before I do the collab, help me get her a thousand subscribers. If all of you subscribe, we're going to get there. If all of you, it just takes one second, guys. Just one second. The link is right there. I just dropped the link. Sure. You go click on it, subscribe, then you come back to the live. It's not too much to ask for. Please, okay? Please, please, please. It's a humble request, all right? USA watching, Marty, Steve. Yes, I know you're watching from the USA, but please, have you subscribed to Sophie Love Lifestyle? Have you? Please go subscribe, okay? David, thank you so much. I see you, David Richardson. I subscribe. D, thank you so much, David. You're the best. Listed in the South, can you put the collab on both channels for more subscribers? Yes, of course. She'll be showing me how to cook and it will be on my YouTube channel. All right? So please subscribe. The collab is coming out so soon. I can't go and do a collab and she doesn't have a thousand subscribers and I have you guys here watching. You can also go and subscribe. You can subscribe more than once in different YouTube channels. It doesn't hurt. Okay? You can just go and subscribe. All right? So, hmm, my mom here decided to buy some, uh, how do you call them, jelly water for me in a big 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 way thank you so much hazel cabell for donating a hundred you a hundred hong kong dollars times two that is 200 hong kong dollars it means the whole world to me team d forever run to 400k Eish, hazel has always been there for me when i need her most and i can't forget that like you guys this is a story for another day <laughs> So Hazel, thank you so much. I really appreciate. I know some people really get hurt when they see you here always supporting me like they can't take it in. But it is what it is. Team D forever, of course. And that will never change. So Hazel, thank you so much for donating 200 Hong Kong dollars. That means the whole world to me. It means a lot. All right? May your world never run dry. Okay? So guys, in that connection... 
I want to know if you've subscribed to Sophie Love Lifestyle. Okay? Just click. Click here. Click here on the link. Go subscribe. The link is here. The link is here. Uh-huh. That's 25 US dollars. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Hazel, for donating 25 US dollars. It means the whole world to me. That's such a big amount. You know, you don't just collect that on the streets. You know, breaking your bank account for me. I don't know. Then what can I say? All I can say is thank you so much. God bless you. Know, it means a lot. You all, I all know, like, the economy is, is tough for everybody. Everybody has to sweat to get a penny. But you guys, sometimes you go out of your way by watching my videos, by supporting me directly. All I can say is God bless. It means the whole world to me, all right? I don't take it for granted. Aha, uh -huh. also... Patrick Tennant, thank you so much for donating 20 US dollars. It means the whole world to me. It means literally, like, more than what you can imagine. 20 US dollars means the whole world to me. Like, in my country, earning 20 dollars in a day, you must do, like, a really hard work, you know, to get that. So, thank you so much for gracing today's live stream, all right? Patrick Tennant, God bless. May your well never run dry. Big up to you. Big up, big up. Thank you so much a million times, all right? Inga STV. I don't know if I pronounced the name well. I don't know. Please help me get a 2K. Thank you. Uh, please help me get a 2K. Subscribers or what? Inga STV. Let me know. Help me get a 2K. On Instagram, on YouTube. Where? Let me know. Inga STV, all right? Let me know. Melody is saying my wife. Oh, I'm somebody's wife and I don't know. <laughs> hey, if I'm your wife, you haven't bought me a Lamborghini yet. How can I be your wife without a Lamborghini? <laughs> Chris, do you advocate for that? Somebody says I'm their wife without buying me a Lamborghini. How true can that be? <laughs> I'm not part of this. Chris is saying he can't support that. There's no way you can call me a wife without without even donating on my live stream without buying me a Lamborghini. Melody, come on. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not true. Okay? <laughs> if I'm your wife, prove. Okay? Uh-huh. Okay, I want to know how far are we? I want to know how far are we? Okay. Mm -hmm. Lol, I will support. Yes, Melody, you can't call me wife and you don't support me. <laughs> it's either you donate something or you buy me a Lamborghini. Two things involved. It's either you donate anything or... You buy me a Lamborghini, you choose. Melody, you can't just call me a wife for free. Me, I'm not a free wife. <laughs> that, that name is too big to handle. Imagine you call me a wife. Hey, you guys. Team D, can you imagine somebody's calling me wife and you don't know that person? Hey, that's too much to handle. So, Melody, you'd rather do something. Okay? <laughs> Donna Butler, thank you so much for being a member. Thank you so much. Welcome to Team D. This means the whole world to me. Donna, thank you for being a member. Guys, for those who don't know, you can also be a member. Melody, you're calling me wife. You're not even a member of my, my YouTube channel. A member means you, you subscribe for one and a half dollars. Imagine just one and a half dollars to be a member. Like, like Donna, when you're a member, when, you, when, you, when I'm doing a live stream and you comment, your comment is always highlighted. Everybody can see you. And that means the whole world to me. Okay? It's just one dollar and a half subscription. Imagine if all of us become members. Just a dollar and a half. All of us. 370 um, watts. I don't know. Right now we are at 300 and watts. I, I don't know. If all of us become members, that will be great for only one and a half dollars. So Melody... Oh, we are live again. Sorry, it disconnected. <laughs> okay.
Okay, right now we are at 323. Some of us here, I know you just joined the live stream right now and you're like, what is D talking about, all right? I'm here to request you to subscribe to one of our Jamaican content creators YouTube channel. Her name is Sophie Love Lifestyle. She'll be soon teaching me how to cook Jamaican food. As you all know, I love Jamaica so much. And I wish to know how they, uh, I wish to learn how to cook because when I'm back home, I'd wish to share with my family what I was eating here in Jamaica. For example, how to cook aki and saltfish. I want to know how to make parties, to be particular, kalaloo parties, uh, soy parties, because those are some of my favorite Jamaican dishes. I want to know how to cook oxtail, you know? I want to know how to cook. What else? Let me know what you'd wish to see me cooking. And who will teach me? I need somebody to teach me. So Sophie Love Lifestyle, a Jamaican beautiful lady, will be teaching me how to cook. So it's my humble request that you subscribe to her channel because it will be such a shame on me being on her channel without a thousand subscribers. I'd rather even not do it. But if you want to see me cook, it's a humble request. I'm just requesting you guys to help me subscribe to her YouTube channel. It's not too much to ask for. Uh, the link is right here. I just pinned it. It's right here. The link is here. Click on it. Go and subscribe to her channel. It's not too much to ask for. All right? Because she'll be teaching me how to cook, guys. I want when I go back home, my parents can enjoy Jamaican food. I want to show the world what Jamaicans eat because I love Jamaica. I would wish to know how to cook. Maybe go back in Kenya and open a Jamaican restaurant in Kenya, like Jamaica to the world. So it would be such a pity being there on her channel without a thousand subscribers. It would be such a pity. It will actually be a big shame on me. Imagine a channel of 370 plus subscribers and i'm there on a channel less a thousand subscribers it doesn't auger well and it's not too much to ask for the link is right here please go subscribe to her channel this is the best way for me to pay back okay to jamaica all right personally i feel so so it's not too much to ask for all right so please help me do so also, we have 958 likes. Let's get the likes to a thousand likes for those who just joined, okay? Let's get the likes to a thousand likes, okay? Thank you so much, Donna, for being a member, all right? Hopefully, there's not any other person who has donated and I haven't given their names a shout out, hopefully, okay? So thank you so much. Collectively today we have 109 US dollars as a donation on today's live stream. Everybody that's donated, you mean the whole world to me. Thank you so much. May your well never run dry. Everybody that joined today's live stream equally means the whole world to me. God bless. God bless. God bless. Okay? God bless. Can we get a thousand likes? Can we get a thousand likes? Oh, you guys are doing it. Imagine if I say a thousand likes and the likes just go up, up, up. Oh, you're editing. It's all right. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for the likes. A thousand likes. Can we get a thousand likes, please? And thank you so much again, KOG Productions, for donating three dollars. Thank you so much, KOG. It means the whole world to me. You are the best. You are the best. You are the best. Thank you so much, Hazel, for helping me appreciate anybody who donates and everybody on today's live stream. Hazel, you're the best. God bless you. You mean the whole world to me. Thank you so, so much. One love, D. Like the video, guys. Marsha Thompson. Thank you so much. Okay, we are at 337. Hey guys, thank you so much for the a thousand likes. Wow, a thousand and one likes. Hey, you guys. Big up, big up, big up, Cindy. A thousand and one likes. Yo, you guys, you mean the whole world to me. You know, it means the whole world to me. So imagine all these a thousand likes if we went and subscribed to, to her channel. Okay? 
please let's all go subscribe all right the link is down here sophie love lifestyle fedjo adishi says did you receive the money from kino one of your fans we gave you a hundred dollars oh thank you so much i don't know if uh i don't know when when did you send him wow this means the world to me fedjo adishi when did you send kino because he gave me but this wasn't from you i think the money that i received was not from you it was from another person and i already gave her a shout out i think this is new fejo adishi when did you send kino let me know please let me say let me know because he already gave me a donation from one of you but the name was different if i remember the name was different it was starting with c it was starting from uh, it was starting with c i received it already but I don't know if you sent. I haven't. I don't know, but I'll ask him. Kino is so honest. He's so honest for sure. He'll give it to me, no doubt. So Fedio, let me just say, thank you so much. It means the world to me. A hundred dollars is a lot. Thank you for paying my one day stay in Jamaica because my house rent goes for a hundred US dollars here in Jamaica. God bless you. May your well never run dry. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Fejo, let me know when did you send? Okay. Fejo Adishi. When? Let me know. Uh-huh. Fejo Adishi says the name. Eh, the name was Oh, Taibu. Yes. We sent it from another number. We sent it on Monday. Yes. The name was Taibu. Yes, yes, Taibu. I remember. Big shout out to you, Taibu. Thank you so much. Kino delivered the 100 US dollars for sure. He already gave it to me. That's so true. Kino is so honest. He's one of those honest people. And uh, thank you so much, Kino, for delivering the donation to me. It means the whole world to me. Kino is so honest. Fejo Adishi, thank you so much. I received the donation. You know, when, when you guys support me directly like that, it means the world to me, all right? Even you just watching, it means the world to me, okay? Fejo, God bless. May your well never run dry. Taibu, thank you, thank you. That's the name, that's the name, that's the name. Kino did it. He did it. Kino cannot, cannot take what is not his, for sure. I know him. Ah, no guys you're not subscribing ah guys we should be at 500 subscribers now huh we should be at 500 subscribers now the least so guys for those who are joining right now i have a request there's this jamaican local uh, content creator she does a lot of cooking and because i want to know how to cook jamaican food she'll be teaching me how to cook so it's a humble request i'm pleading with you guys to help me get her a thousand subscribers it's not too much to ask for this is the link here okay it's not too much to ask for please tomorrow it will be you tomorrow it will be you or maybe a friend because jamaica has been so good to me and this is the best way for me to pay back by supporting local content creators i'll be doing collaborations with so many of them and i wish you to support them same way because i don't want to be a star alone i also want to see jamaicans growing you know so that they can keep showcasing jamaica to the world we need more content creators in jamaica same way my village has the most number of content creators in africa the same way i want to see jamaica having the most content creators so that they can showcase jamaica to the world Jamaica is beautiful. I need more content creators in Jamaica. The world want to see this. I alone cannot showcase the whole of Jamaica to the world. So if you support such content creators, we can showcase Jamaica to the world. Okay? So a candle doesn't uh, go off by lighting another candle. And tomorrow it might be you. It might. Or maybe your friend. Or maybe your neighbor. So... Just go and subscribe to her channel, okay? Big up and thank you so much for those who have already subscribed, okay? 
big up big up big up big up big up to all of you okay i really really appreciate yes jamaica have beautiful places yeah mighty auntie bigs that's so true and i can't wait to showcase to you guys like port royal and all those places i can't wait i can't wait you know ochi you know i can't wait to go to all those places and show you how beautiful jamaica is so donna thank you so much please go subscribe to sophie love lifestyle the link is right there just take a second of your moment please take a second of your moment click on the link go subscribe okay hamida ali road to 400k subscribers thank you all hamida god bless you mommy thank you so much but please hamida please go subscribe to sophie love lifestyle okay thank you so much you know john i see you my dear thank you so much but before you sleep mandeville yes i'm soon going to mandeville actually I have an invitation there on Monday. I'll be going to Mandeville. So I can't wait. I can't wait. That's such a special invite. I'm going to Mandeville on Monday. Okay. I can't wait to show you guys. Jamaica is beautiful. Because Jamaica is too beautiful, I can't. I can't make it alone. I want you guys to subscribe to Jamaican content creators as well. Tease Vlogs, I see you. I see you, Tease. She's also a YouTuber from Jamaica. I met her. She's amazing. Tease Vlogs, big up to you. You can also check out Tease Vlogs. She's a YouTuber from Jamaica. That is it. That is it. That is it. Yeah, man. That is it. John Solo, please go subscribe to sophie love lifestyle like i don't want to sleep if she doesn't have a thousand subscribers i want to do this live stream till morning i just want you guys to subscribe it's not too much to ask for it's not too much to ask for please 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 help me okay uh kuya dookie says dimwango the drive to mandeville is beautiful mandeville is beautiful too I'll be going to Mandeville on Monday. I have a special invite. I'll be coming over on Monday. If you're watching from Mandeville, maybe you have some mansions you'd wish me to check out. Let me know. I'm coming to Mandeville on Monday. Okay? See you then. See you there. See you there. Love your glow, D. It's got to be the coconut water. I have a sack of coconut water here. Uh, DJ Sweekid, big up to you. Big shout out to you, DJ Sweekid and the wife. Uh, Orinthia for giving me a sack of jelly water. A sack of jelly water in uh, not a sack, but one jelly water in Jamaica goes for 300 to 500 Jamaican dollars. But they were so kind, they gave me a sack. How can I pay back? You know, I can only pay back by asking you guys to subscribe to their channels. I'll be soon be doing a collab with them, and I can't wait you guys to subscribe. Big up to you, DJ Sweeken and the wife, Orinthia. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm coming over. I can't wait to come and do a free collab with you, okay? I can't wait. Mika, the war, you mean the whole world to me. Thank you so much for donating. Not for donating, but for subscribing to their channel. My battery is going low, but I want to just plug in the... There we go. I plugged in the charger, the power bank. Okay, we're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not going off. Run to 400k subscribers by his grace. I mean, thanks all, Hamida. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Hamida. God bless. But please go also and subscribe to... Sophie Love Lifestyle, all right? John Solo, I'm a Jamaican living in Western Canada. It's so nice of you to visit Canada. Yes, that is it. But right now, I'm in Jamaica, the land we love, okay? Miss Sway, that is it. Road to 400K subscribers, Miss Sway. God bless, and that is it for sure. I am a Yugno! Hey, my Yugno in the building! Dream, dream, from my village. 
<laughs> Mayugno, I've missed you so much. I can't wait to come back home, Mayugno. How is everything, bro? Happy to see you. Mayugno, please do me a favor. Go subscribe to Sophie Love Lifestyle. She's a Jamaican and she want to teach me how to cook real Jamaican food. Mayugno, please, I want to see if you have subscribed. I want to see. Mayugno is one of my good, good friends. He's more of family. Mayugno, please, 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 Mayugno, go subscribe to Sophie Love Lifestyle. Okay? And I want to know if you have subscribed. I am Mayugno. I'm waiting for your comments. You're the best, Mayugno. We like you so much. We love you so much. You're the best. You mean the whole world to us, you know? You all know that, you know? Mayugno, thank you so much. I can't wait to see you again. You know, you're one of our favorites, you know? Mayugna says, already I subscribed my sister. <laughs> thank you, Mayugna. You are the best. We love you so much. My whole family, we love Mayugna. You know Mayugna? My brother. You know, Mayugna used to work uh, at my brother's construction site. And my brother helped, op uh, helped opening a YouTube channel for Mayugna. Right now, he's at almost 30, I think, more than that, subscribers. So thank you so much, Mayugno. It means the whole world to me. Thank you for subscribing, okay? Thank you so much, Mayugno. Big up, big up, big up, Mayugno. <laughs> Hazel Ivlog says, I faint. No, don't faint. Mayugno, we love you so much. Huh? <laughs> Mighty Aunt Dig says, Mayugno, what's up? AK47 fully loaded. <laughs> you see, we love you so much, Mayugno. My team knows you. When I'm home, I collaborate with you, so my people know you, you're the best. Thank you for subscribing to her channel, okay? That's Mara Fastborn. Yes, I am Mayugno, Mara's Fastborn. Yeah, Mayugno actually is young. We are of the same age, actually. I think I'm even one year older than Mayugno, I think so. One or two, I think. Big up, Mayugno, I'm faint. <laughs> My Yugno, so many people know you. Thank you so much, my sister. We miss you. I want you in new music. Okay, nowadays even my Yugno is a musician. Thank you, my Yugno. When I come, yeah, I would wish to be featured in your music. Road to 1K. Yes, Road to 1K subscribers. D, I have a gift for you and your brother. Travel with E O N. Please DM me on Instagram, travel with E O N, okay? DM me on Instagram and thank you so much in advance. Travel with E O N. DM me on Instagram, okay? Thank you for showing us Jamaica. Much more is yet to come. You'd rather subscribe. I have to go to the entire Jamaica. Like, trust me, I'm here in jamaica for the longest i can't wait to share with you the entire jamaica i'm going to mandeville on monday i'm going to port royal i'll go to i don't know my dream is to go to all the to, is it 14 parish in jamaica or 12 i think it's 14. in jamaica they have parish so i can't wait to go to all these parish and show them to you i love jamaica i love love truly from the bottom of my heart jamaica has been my dream country more than any other country in the whole world. I'm glad I made it to Jamaica. The love that I'm getting here is massive. I can't trade it with any other thing, you know? So guys, I'm gonna be cooking dinner. I don't know if you wanna see me cook. So I'll be cooking Kalaloo. I don't know, Kish, if you are too busy or you could hold the camera for me as I do the live. I What's don't up? know. I want to cook dinner. So I don't know what I can cook. We have chicken, Kalaloo and rice. Uh -huh. I wanna make something for us to eat. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be yeah. concerned, you must have better security. I have good security, and Jamaica is safe, anyways. You know, I have security with me 24 7. So, yeah. I subscribe to her channel. Thank you so much. Guys, I don't know how far we are right now. It's not too much to ask for. Miss Way says, Congrats, mom. is so proud of, of her. Cubs, I bet. Yeah, I can't wait to meet her soon and bring her a gift that she'll never forget. <laughs> I have a gift in store for my mom. How I pray that God keeps her safe and good health. 
and strong as always and beautiful as always until I meet her when I come home. Every day I pray may God keep her forever for me, you know. She's the best. Giving birth to me, it means the world. I couldn't be here without her, you know. And my mom actually took good care of me. She made sure I went to the best schools ever. She made sure I'm who I am today, okay. She gave me the true basics of life that I carry everywhere I go, life ethics. And that means the world to me. Big up to you, congrats, mom. If you're watching, I can't wait. I miss you so much. I can't wait to come back home again and bring you a gift that you always remember, a gift that you've always wanted. And I'm glad through your prayers, I'm where I am today. Mighty Aunt Dick says, my grandmother, when she was, alive she used to go to jamaica bahamas and puerto rico wow okay imagine my yugno eh? my yugno you're the best guys but you're not you're not you know some of you mm -hmm. you have a new boyfriend now no hell no hell no hell no hell no okay there's one we still see each other but i haven't decided yet but he's not here he's in netherlands so <laughs> I haven't made up my mind yet, so I don't know. He's still in probation, okay? So I don't know, but let's see how it goes. Hell no, 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 boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, okay. He's on probation, so he's not an official boyfriend yet. He's not here. Maybe if I get a better one in today, <laughs> maybe he's watching. <laughs> Anyways, 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 okay? So you guys, if you're asking if Kino is my boyfriend, Kino is not my boyfriend, okay? Please get it right. Also, many people are saying Kish, my world is my boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. Please forgive me. Leave me alone. I have one. We still see each other. He's in Netherlands, but I haven't decided yet. I don't know. You know, I'm yet to see if he qualifies, okay? So I'll let you know when the time is due okay so just leave me alone <laughs> tell them d leave me alone yes leave me alone no boyfriend yet but just in case i find a jamaican one it will be a good thing but not yet okay until i announce it so so far no 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 no. let nobody lie to you okay not let no one lie to you i'm their girlfriend Okay, I'm only seeing one, but he's still on probation. If he fails, well and fine. <laughs> if he makes it, well and fine. All right, so that is it for now, okay? The next parish is St. Anne. Okay, St. Anne, I'll be coming. Where, which parish does Mandeville belong? Because I'm coming to Mandeville on Monday, okay? Tell them, shut your mouth. Yes, please, shut up your mouth. Please, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. This is currently single, and your applications are welcome, but you must be sure to merit. Number one qualification, your bank account should be loaded. I don't want to die of poverty. <laughs> Previously, I've been dating broke. Guys, I say no to broke men again. You'd rather work hard because I also work hard. So don't don't send your application if you're broke. Don't send your application if you don't work hard in life. I wish to have a hard working person in my life. So if you're not working hard, if your account is not loaded, if you can't get me a Lamborghini. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. I'm just joking. But if you're not hard working and you don't have if your bank account is not loaded, I don't want to die of poverty. Bank account must be loaded. It's a must. It's not, it's not oh, uh, oh. Eh? I'm not ready to be anybody's mother again. If you know, you know what I mean. So be sure your bank account is loaded. Okay? I want to be having visitors coming to see me. So I, wanna, I don't want to date a broke guy. If you broke, don't DM D. I don't take in broke applications from broke guys. I can probably say that. If you're broke, please stay away. Stay away. I work so hard. You must, you must have money. You must, it's, a, it's a must and that is it. And no apologies. Okay? I don't want to be somebody's mother. Okay? I don't want to be somebody's mother. I want to be taken care of. 
Previously, I was taking care of a of, of a big grown up man. So no, no, no. Again, taking broke guys. So never, 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 never. That was a fail, and that is it. How much money? It must be loaded. You must be a millionaire, if not a billionaire. <laughs> You guys, you guys, yeah, me, no, 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 broke guy, no, 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 I say no, and that is it, and that is it, and that, if you're a broke guy, don't hit on me, don't hit on me if you're a broke guy, stay away from me, go make it, I'm also hustling, always on the streets, if you can't hustle, you're waiting for me to be your mother, I cannot be your mother. Go hustle. No broke men and that is it. I've been dating broke niggas before it failed. It was such a stress. Being a mother, taking care of them. You know, like I can't go back again. I tried it. I tried it and it failed. No more taking broke niggas. Never, never. It's not an apology. Go work hard. When you make it, come look for me. <laughs> Somebody says, Mbona utaki mkenya wetu. No, 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 no. Any, any application is, is welcome. If you are rich, come, 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 come. If you are fully loaded, be free to, to, to hit me up, okay? How much are you looking for, for D? No, at least you should be a millionaire, if not a billionaire. That's, we start from, we, we start talking from there. D, no broke pockets around here. Barbara James, thank you so much, mommy. I want you when you come to visit, I have enough food, I have a mansion to let you sleep in for free. I don't have a, a broke nigga ever, ever again that I'm taking care of, buying clothes, buying shoes, feeding their family, opening businesses for them. That was such a disgrace. I, I, I admit that was such a big fail and I'm not going there again. Please work hard. If you're a man watching, me, I'm not welcoming any broke man in my life. No, 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 no. I'm working hard. Money is important. You must work hard because I love helping. I can't help if I don't have. So if you don't have money, stay away from me. Broke? Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Broke? Please, don't even talk to me. <laughs> you know? Guys, let me be honest, money is important. Even me, I, I part with $300 every single day to create content. So if you're a broke man, don't even waste your time. And I'm not even saying sorry. I'm, I can't apologize on that. It's, it's a must. Be loaded. Go work hard. Go work hard. Go work hard. No broke pockets. No broke pockets. I rebuke any broke spirit. <laughs> trying to hit me up, please, I rebuke in the mighty name of Jesus. Even, you know, even, even God, he's a rich God, you know. All the silver and gold belongs to him. So, me around, any broke man around me, I want to be a giver. How can I give if I'm, not, if, I'm, if I'm broke, if I'm having a broke nigger? How can I? How? 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 I rebuke, Betty, I rebuke. <laughs> if your son is watching melody i hope you're a rich guy because you said i'm your wife please broke men stay away from me i don't need any broke nigga i dated a broke guy it was such a fail it was such a setback in my life i spent so much money on him it was such a fail it was such a di i don't know what to say it was such a disgrace i will never do that again i will never i will never i will never I will never, guys. I promise you guys, I will never. Money is important. You can't, you can't, you know, you cannot live without money. I want you guys to come and visit me. Imagine you come and I'm sleeping on the floor. No bed, no nothing. Like, what a disgrace. Like, no, no, no. I'm working hard. So, you as a man, if you want me, go work hard. If you can't work hard and have money, I don't waste your time. Just leave me alone, okay? Yeah, loud and clear, if your son is watching and or if you have a crush on me or whatever, or if you're a mother and your son likes me and they're like, hey, D, wah, 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 make sure your son is loaded. <laughs> because I want to be a giver even more. You know, I normally give each and every single day on the streets. I buy people lunch. I buy people like, you know, so there's no way I can be with a broke man. Go get money. Go get money. Haha, -ha, sorry for that man. Hazel, no, it's a must. It's a must. It's a must. 
any any lazy guy stay away from me it's not even it's not even a it's not even a plea love you you are a broke guy you just saying i just am some yeah you go away i'm even removing you with your bad energy love you don't even deserve to have this name love you know this is a big name to, for somebody like you to have it okay i deleted you of course guys people should work hard People should work hard. And you know what? Something funny, being broke is not like a permanent, is not a permanent thing. You go work hard, change your life, you know. Being broke is, is by choice, okay? Being broke is by choice, for sure. You go work, you go work hard, okay? Yes, has okay, girl. <laughs> okay, dear, please forget that broke man part. We get it and agree with you. Yes, Joyce, thank you so much for agreeing with me. But it's a must. In this life, truth be told, even going to church, you can't go to church empty handed, empty pockets. It's not, it's not even acceptable. You know, you must be able to give 10% of what you make to the church. So if you make nothing and you are a man, so what are you saying? No, 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 no. Same way, yes, even women should work hard. Yes, everybody should work hard. I totally agree with you. Cheney, same way, D. Yes, me too. I'm working hard. For sure. I'm not a lazy person. I work so hard. For sure. And I wouldn't want to be also, like, uh, I wouldn't want to be a burden to, to a man also who works really hard. I also want to bring something to the table, right? So it's, it's a two-way traffic, okay? It's a two-way traffic. And for sure, once more, if you're a broke man, don't even... Don't even, don't even try to get next to me, okay? Uh -huh. Alison says, look at the walking style. Eh? You met in Spanish town with the tags on his clothes he was selling, making his money. Yes, Alison, you're so right. I met one of the guys in Spanish town and he said it on my latest video. If you are a man. Go get the paperwork. Go get the paperwork. It's so true. As a man, you can't be a man without the paper. He said it. He was just a random guy that I met in, uh, in Spanish town. He had clothes and tags on selling. You know, he was advertising his business and he said it. And so many men, even the next video that is about to come, I think, have I uploaded it of Spanish town? I think you all saw, you all saw it. There was also this barber. He said, for you to be a man enough, have that paper. He's a barber, you know, have that paperwork. Go do something. Even the Bible doesn't encourage laziness, you know. A lazy person should not eat. The Bible says that. The same way I say, me, I cannot tolerate a lazy man again. I did that before. It was such a disgrace. I regret, but it was a lesson learned. Now I say no broke guy close to me. I say no. Baron Cummings says, I'm a broke man with ambition, so I'm an exceptional. <laughs> Baron Cummings, you see yourself exceptional with ambition, but you're broke. No, you still don't qualify. No, 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 no. Use your ambitions, go get the paperwork, then come. You can't tell me you have ambitions, but empty pockets. No, 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 no. Go work, go work, go work, go work. Ambi Will I eat ambition? I won't eat ambition. I need food. I need to dress. Some people are saying I need to change my hairstyle. I can't change my hairstyle with ambition. <laughs> Prove it to me by having the paperwork. Okay? <laughs> you guys, you guys are killing me today. Me now, money. Me can hang, hang. I don't know what you're trying to say. <laughs> Love don't pay the bills. So true. Love doesn't pay bills. Candy girl. Thank you so much, dear, for saying that. Love doesn't pay the bills. Love doesn't pay the bills. You can't go to a shop and say, I want this Gucci sunglasses. I will pay it with love. Money pays the bills. Not love. Money pays the bills. Okay? Money pays the bills and that is it. Not love. Me, you can't tell me otherwise. That is it. Betty and Kelvin, D, that is it, of course. <laughs> oh, you guys gonna kill me today. 
One hand cannot clap. That's so true, Barbara James. Thank you so much. One hand cannot clap. I totally agree. Would you marry rich? Yes, 100%. Why not? I want a good life too. As much as I'm working hard, same way, I don't want to be with a broke nigga around me. He'd rather work hard. Like I did it before and it was such a disgrace. I used to think money can pay bills, but money doesn't pay bills. Actually, they can't even be loved without money. How will you guys sleep? You sleep on the floor, you're going to get sick, right? You can't, you can't eat love and, and wear love and drive love and help others love. Nothing. Love doesn't pay bills. You need to get the paperwork. Love doesn't pay your bills. That's so true. Amida Hali, truth be told, money doesn't pay bills. So true. So true. Even here in Jamaica, I don't pay love to stay here. I pay money paperwork. I have to sweat on the streets and that is it. And that is it. But it's true. I don't know why people don't want to be told the truth. It's the truth, guys. Even for you to be a blessing to others. You must have something, right? Does it matter how he makes the money? <laughs> money doesn't have writings. I made this by by going to a construction site money is money when you walk into the bank nobody knows how you made the money so me i don't mind you just come with the money as long as you're not a thief money is money to me but if you're a thief then my life will be short because i won't go far with you but any other way apart from from being a thief you're welcome <laughs> she wouldn't date a criminal never never Ne why guys you don't need to be a criminal to make it in life come on you don't need to be a criminal to make it in life you can make real money in a legal way you know you can make real money in a legal way you don't need to be a criminal i cannot date a criminal for money hell no 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 no. i say no and i must know how you're making your money but i don't really mind any other way apart from being uh apart from indulging yourself in crime it doesn't matter even if you are a street vendor as long as you have the cash me i don't mind even if whatever you're doing me as long as you have it it doesn't matter okay you get more yeah 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 like how are you encouraging the man them work yes yes i'm encouraging young men to work you must work nothing comes on a silver plate let's tell each other the truth you must work hard okay hard some men get a lot of money and go around cheating with different men me my peace of mind matters ah me i, I don't know what to say about this but at the end of the day nearly 90 percent of the men cheat so i don't know what to say okay even a broke man cheats you know even a broke man cheats <laughs> so it's not an offense for a rich man to cheat even broke men cheat so what huh? so to me that's not an excuse okay i can't date you because you're broken because you won't cheat <laughs> i fully agree yes even broke men cheat in fact they are the worst because that's the only thing they can offer so if a rich man goes and cheats and he's rich you cry you're crying in a lamborghini it's, it's much better off because either way he'll still cheat what do you guys think let me know <laughs> actually broke men cheat the most you know a rich man is so busy he has a lot to do he, he has businesses to go and check on he has meetings to attend he has a lot to do a broke one all he can do is that's the best he can offer so Actually, the broke ones cheat even more than the rich ones. That one, you can't tell me anything. That is it. <laughs> that is it. That is it. D, you're making my night. I'm glad. But it's true. The broke ones cheat even more because they have nothing to do. They have nothing to do. That's the best they can do. Rich men don't cheat that, that easily. So, disadvantages of... Dating a broke nigga, he gonna cheat more and there's nothing you'll do because he has all the time to cheat. He's not busy. The bills are not stressing him. All he wanna do is to go cheat, 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 cheat. So, me? Mm -mm. No, I don't want. Bob, Bob 
Bobby says, I missed the beginning of the live. Which broke man in Jamaica trying to hold? <laughs> no, Jamaican men work so hard. I see them on the streets. They work so hard. You know, they work so hard because Jamaica is so expensive. You can't live in Jamaica if you, you, you're lazy. Actually, let me tell you the truth, guys. Let me tell you the truth. And I'm being so honest. All the countries that I've ever been to, and I'm not just saying because I love Jamaica. It's because I'm just being so honest. I've never ever been to a country where I find less street kids on the streets and less beggars, I swear. If you've ever been to Jamaica, let me know. You would see very few beggars and street kids in Jamaica. Even if they live in the garrison, at least they have somewhere that they live. Big up to Jamaica, big up, big up, big up, big up. Everybody's trying to do something. They'd rather hawk on the streets and make ends meet. That was just my observation, and I'm just being so honest. And you can see it even as I walk on the streets. Have you seen people begging left, right, center? Have you? People are busy. Trust me, people are busy. In Jamaica, people are busy. The men here are working so hard. Even the women are working so hard. Everybody's trying to make ends meet. You know, and in Jamaica, life is really expensive. If you don't work, you won't eat. You won't even survive. Trust me. So, big up to all Jamaicans. That's true. Alison, yeah, that's so true. People work hard in Jamaica because life here, even me, I have to work extra hard because life in Jamaica is really expensive. Every day I spend 300 US dollars. Tell me, how can you make it in Jamaica if you are, you are lazy? Tell me. Even big up to the rich people in Jamaica, like those people who have big mansions, that tells me people really work hard in Jamaica. You can't survive here if you are lazy. How will you eat? How will you eat? A cabbage, I showed you from the beginning, a small cabbage of 0.0, .0 kg goes for 330 Jamaican dollars. That's three dollars. Even, a, you know, it's not even enough for one person to eat. What, what am I trying to tell you? In Jamaica, it's you, you must work hard and bigger, 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 bigger to Jamaica for working so hard. That's something that I have to congratulate you guys. Jamaicans work so hard. Because life here, in my country, with one with one dollar, you can actually eat in the village. You can walk in, in a local restaurant, we call them kibanda. You can eat chapati, which is like roti and beans in my country. You can survive with one dollar, two dollars, actually five dollars, like five hundred a Kenyan shilling, which is like four to five dollars. You can eat a meal in Kenya. I'm from Kenya. In Jamaica, that's nothing. That's a price of a jelly water here in Jamaica. You must work hard in Jamaica. And I love it. Even me being here, I have to work hard. So if you're hitting on D and you are a broke man, please stay away from me. I'm not interested. Love don't pay bills. Okay? Big face. Thank you so much for donating two dollars. Big face says in Kea, uh, it is true, Kenyan girls have a big bam bam. Yeah, it's normal, but also in Jamaica, the girls do are, are well carved, you know. I think it's just an African thing, and Jamaica having those jeans, it's just a normal thing. Yeah, that's so true. If you want to find beautiful girls, go to Kenya. Also in Jamaica, they have really beautiful, well, sexily dressed girls everywhere you see them. But Bill can make love. That's so true. That's so true. Love doesn't pay bills. But bills can make love. That's so true. <laughs> That's so true. If you can pay the bills, you'll get the love. That's so true. Okay. Pa Paola Strat. Thank you so much. I really appreciate. Okay. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm here today to ask for support from you guys by helping me support this Jamaican YouTube channel. She's such a beautiful lady. She works hard just like as I do, just as I do. And I would wish you to help me support by subscribing to her channel because soon she'll be teaching me how to cook. Maybe when I'm back in Kenya, I'll open a Jamaican restaurant. So I'd wish to get to know the basics. Imagine me having a Jamaican restaurant back in Kenya. Mm -hmm. That would be a big thing, right? Because also, for the girls, we have to work hard. It's so unfair for a hard-working man to have a lazy wife or girl or woman. 
for me, I advocate for hardworking guys to get hardworking girls. That's what I advocate. It's two-way traffic, okay? I'm not one-sided. I'm supporting both. Everybody should work hard, okay? So I'm not just being one-sided. It's both ways. At least we can help each other, right? D, you can cook. Yeah, maybe I want to cook now. D is a content creator, <laughs> and she can also cook. <laughs> All right? So please, I want to know how far we've reached. So guys, if you're joining right now, I'm here to how uh, to request you guys to support one of a Jamaican content creator. Her name is Sophie Love Lifestyle. She's gonna be teaching me how to cook, and it's my prayer we get her to a thousand subscribers. Yes, they can cook. I see her all the time. Marcia, thank you so much, darling. I really appreciate it. MJ's lifestyle. People in the country have their farm. If you think Jamaica is expensive, wait until you come to the USA. Oh, okay. I know US is expensive, but also Jamaica is expensive for sure. I'm lazy, but I know how to make money. Mighty Aunt Diggs, it doesn't matter. If you can sleep and still make money, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. I'm getting a Kenyan lady who can cook. Yes, Kenyan ladies can cook. Wife materials. Uh -huh. Why are you cooking this late? Because I'm, I'm here talking to you guys, you know. Uh, Sylvia, hey D, I like the voice. You guys going on your country, eh? going on, going, eh? going in my country. Okay, thank you so much. My ex worked harder, fitting into her jeans. <laughs> Working hard and fit, fitting in her jeans. No, no. I don't advocate for that. I advocate people to get fit. You don't need to get to, <laughs> to work hard and fitting on jeans. Eh? Chat publicly as Joe Techniques. Jamaica Kingston. Thank you. Can't wait to see your cooking content of Jamaican food. Yeah, I was in Philippines. I was also cooking local Philippines dish. I really enjoyed. I miss Philippines. I can't wait to be back in Philippines. Uh, that's my plan. I'm Jamaican. I'm going to Nyambohanse in April to cook curry goats. Candy girl, you're welcome. Candy girl, you're welcome. You're more than welcome. Okay? That's why I also want to know how to cook so that when I'm back in my village, I can cook Jamaican food for my parents. Okay? Bobby says, I heard the grocery in different parts of Jamaica is different. Some parish, Some parishes are cheaper than some. Oh, okay. I can't wait to see. I can cook. Andrew Bowen. That's a bonus for a man. For a man, just have the money. We can get a chef to cook. You don't need to cook if you're a man. But you can only cook when it's necessary. But if you're a man, you make money work for you. <laughs> you can only cook occasionally. Okay? So the paperwork is so important. And that is it. Okay? You don't need to not to have the paperwork and tell me you can cook. cook just cooking is not enough you must have the paperwork and cooking is been is just bonus so you don't qualify if you are broke and but you can cook you still don't qualify you fail big way <laughs> you must cook you must have the paperwork and cooking is just a bonus paperwork comes first the rest will just come naturally okay Will you be back in your village? Yes, I'll be back in my village. Okay. Yes, it has to be balanced. Yes, it has to be balanced. Actually, the paperwork has to weigh much more than the cooking skills. If you have the paperwork and you can't cook, it's not too, it's, it's okay. It's not a problem. We can make the money cook for us. We can get a, <laughs> we can get a skilled chef to do the cooking. And Mansky says, D, can you please say a shout out if you tell someone's name? Yes, a Mansky, big shout out to you. Okay, guys, I wanna get in the kitchen and cook because I'm also hungry. I don't know if you guys wanna cook with me. I wanna be cooking kalaloo, chicken, and uh, maybe ugali because I have ugali flour, but I don't have the cooking stick. So it's quite a, quite unfortunate I don't have the, the wooden cooking stick because it makes ugali so perfectly. And um, it's going to be interesting, okay? 
water channel, everything they have in Jamaica, they, they get it from Suriname. I don't know how true is that. I don't know. I'm going to get a better job. Mighty Aunt Diggs. Yes, please, get a better job. <laughs> get a better job. Okay, Hazel, thank you so much. I really appreciate. I have a house where you can use for free. Water channel, where is your house located? Let me know and hit me on Instagram, okay? That will be a big push for me. And if it's big enough, I can bring along my friends as well. The, I can cook for you. Uh, okay, you can cook, but does it, that doesn't make you qualified. Where is Kino? Kino is at his place. So basically, people just come, hang out with us here, but later they go to their place. So Kino doesn't stay with me. Okay? D, not me. I was not referring to me. Oh, okay. It's okay. It's okay. Where is Kino? Kino is, uh, he lives in Seaview. So Kino is home. He's not here. D, not me. Oh, okay. I got it. Okay, guys, are you ready? We get in the kitchen. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. D, good night. My head is hurting me. Take care. Love you. Be safe. All right, Marcia. Thank you so much. Good night. Okay. DA says, what, are, what about Ambabas? Age. Guys, I don't know if you know what Ambabas means. Ambabas is a man who is really old. Guys, do you think, I don't know, but dating Ambabas has never been my taste. Even if you have the paperwork, but you are so old, man, I can't date a man who is of my dad's age. That's disrespect. <laughs> That's disrespect. Of course, some of you could be like, the age doesn't matter. But sorry to say, this is my preference. No, 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 no. I believe young men can also have the paperwork, not only the old guys. Actually, me, if you are about the oldest I can date is 35. The oldest I can date. The oldest. The oldest. Actually, that one is even way too high. Anybody above my brother's age is too old for me. My elder brother is turning 33 very soon. So above 33, uh, above my brother's, my elder brother's age is way too old. Okay? But if you have the paperwork and you are 35, I can consider. But still too old. Above 35 to me, it's, it's too old for me. Too old. If you are 35, you must have a good career. You must have enough money. You must be well cultured. You must... You must be husband material, everything, everything, everything. But still, I believe young guys can also make money. Nowadays, like, even young guys can make money. So me, uh, no, 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 no. I can't date an old man. I'm barbers. Actually, above 35, you're way too old for me. 35? Uh-uh, no. This is me, guys. I want to stand for what I want and just make it clear. Above 35? Imagine dating a broke 35 years old. I did that before. And I will never do it again. You're dating a 35 years old. He's so broke. I'm like his mother doing everything, feeding his family, doing businesses for their family and all this. That was such a disgrace. I failed. I have to admit, I failed. But at least I tried and now I know. Now I know what I exactly want. So if you are 35 and empty pockets, no, 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 I don't want. Please, just stay away. Me, I have to stand for what I want. And you guys just have to accept D for what she is. If you don't like me, it's your own problem. But I stand for what I want. If you are above 35, you're way too old for me. And if you are 35, no paperwork, mm, no, please, don't waste your time. Oh, that's way too old. No, that's way too old. That's disrespect to me. Imagine dating at 35, empty pockets guy ah uh, no 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 guys me i just stand for my truth if you don't like it it's okay but me as d that's what i stand for okay <laughs> i'm old for you i just be flirting okay you can do that from a distance mighty aunt Diggs. if you're above 35 me no but that is my choice. If you are a lady watching and you prefer older guys, well and fine. I respect your opinion. But for D, please guys, I don't want to lie. No, 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 no. I, I need a, a young and rich, young, rich, energetic 
you know what I mean? Young, rich, and energetic. Because I believe as long as you're working hard, being young is not an excuse of being broke. No, 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 no. We have billionaires who are in their twenties, so why not you? Why not you? Why not? Eh? Why not? Me, I stand for young and rich. Donna, well said, mommy. Thank you so much. Young and rich, yes, young and rich. Huh? Eh? Get man of your age, lots of educated money earning 30. Yeah, of course. We have 30 year old guys and they're making a lot of money. At least below 35. If you're above 35, don't waste your time. You're way too old. Because once beaten, twice shy. Once beaten, twice shy. Guys, let me give you a story. I once dated a broke 35 year old. He made me run bankrupt as well. This is not is not is not is not something to smile about. I used to pay his flight tickets, feed his family. I even opened a business for his family because of manipulation. I used to spend on him like I'm um, the mother. I could even, I, I even he used even to make me send money for his mother in the name of love. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I don't want it next to me again. Never. I don't want. I don't want, guys. I was messed. I don't want to mess again. I don't want to mess. I don't want to mess again. No, 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 guys. I just want to be honest. No, I tried it. It didn't work. In fact, it was the worst. It was the worst. The worst ever. Fix it in Jesus' name. Amen. Me? Never, 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 never again. Once beaten, twice shy. So when you're hearing this speaking like this, it's from experience. There's nothing that hurts. Dating a 35-year-old man with empty pockets. Never, never, never. Imagine you, you're dating a man in the name of love. Like, I was so stupid. Like, I don't know, but I was just so naive. And I will never repeat it again. We all learn from mistakes. Imagine dating a man even, you know, like, you go visit him and because of love, you can even sleep on the ground. I used to be this girl, no mattress, sleeping on the floor in the name of, in the name of love. I'll never repeat again. I messed up big way. I will never, ever date a broke old guy I get me no just get the paperwork go work hard you can make it you can make it you can make it guys if you're watching i just want to tell you you can make it just work hard just work hard just work hard and i advocate both women and men to work hard same thing to me i would not wish to be a burden to my husband i'm just there doing nothing every day is give me give me give me give me give me also, women, we must bring something to the table. Eh? We must bring something to the table, both of us, so that you can help each other. When one, when one person fails, the other one can uplift each other. For me, I'm not gender-based. I say all, all genders must work hard. That's what D stands for, okay? That's what I stand for. That's what I stand for, okay? D, welcome, Miss Kitty's World. She has a company. Miss Kitty's World. Which company? Let me know. If you wish me to work in your company, let me know. Me, I stand for working hard. Me, I don't want to be, to be a burden to any man. <laughs> I advocate both men should work hard. I'm not saying only men should work hard. Also, women, we have to work hard. Please D, shout to Marlene and Aman. Okay. Shout out, big up to you, Marlene and Aman. I hope you're all working hard in life. <laughs> if you're just young people like me. I stand for working hard for both genders. Okay. Big shout out to you, Marlene and Aman. Okay. Aha. Dino says, D, what race is your preference? Paperwork, no, knows no race. Just have correct paperwork. Me, I have no problem. Just have the paperwork and just be a good person. It doesn't matter. I, I, I'm not, I'm not racist. I don't prefer, I don't think there's any race that is better than the other, okay? Any can do. Just have your paperwork together. Trust me. Just have your paperwork together. I think I just answered your question, okay? I just answered you. Deno, okay? It doesn't matter. Bar Baron says, no more yellow bunny D or snow bunny. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Me, the thing is, paperwork comes first because once beaten twice shy, I cannot go back again. Just have the paperwork right. 
Okay, guys, I don't, I don't know if you want to see me cook because um, it's quite late. I'm hungry. I don't know what's the time right now in Jamaica. And uh, I haven't eaten. It has been like uh, a live stream of three hours. Live stream, being here. And uh, this is also one of the ways that I make money by creating YouTube content. That's how I manage my lifestyle. That's how I manage to travel. And uh, I can proudly say I work really hard. You guys, you are a witness. I'm not just a lazy girl sitting and waiting for manna to fall from heaven. It's 9.20 p.m. I haven't eaten. I haven't freshened up. I have a lot of videos to edit. I work extremely hard. I can proudly say I'm a hardworking lady. And I got it from my parents. My dad works really hard. My mom works really hard. My brothers work really hard. So there's no point of me getting an, a lazy, empty pocket man in the name of love. I cannot do that. I tried it. It was one of the worst mistakes I've ever did, but I learned from my lessons, okay? So me, I stand for my truth and preference. If you don't like it, it's up to you, but uh, I stand for my truth and my preference, and you'd rather just love me for who I am, okay? And I think it's just a good thing. We all of us need to work hard. D is not like one-sided, only men should work hard, no. I'm saying both men and women should work hard in life, all right? That's what I stand for. Yeah, I do work very hard. They know, thank you so much. You all can see it, I work so hard. So I'll never ever go again. For a broke guy, never. EK, Ki Media. Woye, si usome tu yangu moja. Thank you so much for being a member. EK, Ki Media, big up to you. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate it, okay? Thank you guys. So, time to get in the kitchen. Imagine I work so hard, you know, and still I can cook. <laughs> I just subscribed to Sophie, okay? Let's get back to Sophie. Let's get back to Sophie. Guys, have you subscribed to Sophie? Sophie Love. Sophie love lifestyle. She's a Jamaican, all right? And she wanna be cook, teaching me how to cook because I would wish to be a good wife in the future because I believe he'll be a busy man looking for the paperwork and uh, I should know how to cook, okay? Most of the Jamaican food. <laughs> so Sophie will be helping me out with the cooking lessons. So I don't wanna just be a lazy girl I want to be a really hard-working wife in the future to a deserving, rich, and young, handsome man. Okay? <laughs> okay, 387. Okay, let's get her to 400. Then I go and cook. Okay? Okay, guys, let's click 400K. Then I can go cook. You are too beautiful to be taking care of a man. I shouldn't do that again, ever. I shouldn't, but if he deserves it, I can cook, I can do everything. A woman has to remain a woman, still, at the end of the day, okay? I stand for that. That's what I stand for. Feminiz feminism, okay? A woman must, re re uh, must remain a woman. A man must remain a man. From where I come from, the man is the head of the family. My dad is the head of our family. Okay, and my mom is the neck supporting the head. That's where I grew from, and that's what I carry with me because that's how I was brought up. The man has to be the head of a family, so I don't know how you can be a head with empty pockets. Me, I don't stand for that, you know, I don't stand for that. Okay. Somebody says, this nature underscore hub. D, not until 28 for a partner. Please travel and enjoy singleness. Yes, I agree with you. I still have a long way. More countries. Maybe that time I will have finished traveling, traveling the whole world. You know? Yeah, I agree with you. I agree. Big up yourself, D. Thanks. Uh, big up Jamaica. No joke. Watching from Jamaica in the U.S. That is it. Travis Brown. 
big up to Jamaican men because they work so hard. It's not easy to be a Jamaican man in Jamaica without money. You know, big up to all Jamaican men, the most hardworking men that I know on this planet. And soon I'll be showing you how Jamaican men are working hard. I'll be going on the streets and showing you how they get the paperwork. Soon. For me, it doesn't matter what you're doing, whether you're a street vendor, whether you're a street cleaner, as long as you make that paperwork, that's all that matters. To me, how you make it is none of my business. As long as you're not a criminal because I don't stand for crime. I stand for real sweat, okay? Maggie says, I wish one day you visit Terry. Yeah, I will visit Terry for sure. I'm in Kingston. Can't wait to meet up. Nature's organic hub. Yeah, we can easily meet up. Just let me know. Hit me up on Instagram. All right, guys. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram, D Mwango Official. Mighty Dig says, when I get to houses and three cars, I'm looking for you. So right. Mighty Aunt Digs, yes. And make sure one of the cars is a Lamborghini for me. <laughs> get two mansions or villas or whatever and get two cars, one mine, a Lamborghini for me and look for me. I'm here, patiently waiting. <laughs> You're planning to marry a Jamaican man? I don't know. But why not? If he's rich, young, rich, and well-cultured, what's the problem? Me, I'm not racist. You know, that's one thing for sure. If you're a Jamaican, you are rich, you have some villas in the mountains or wherever, I don't know. You have good cars. Me, I don't mind. And you are below 35. Feel free. <laughs> Me, I don't, date. We, uh, I don't date old men. Okay? About below 35, rich, well cultured, don't hesitate. <laughs> um, wicked from connection, one love. I'm wicked from connection, one love. Okay, one love, big up. Don't leave. Hmm? Don't leave, congrats mom next time. I have to bring her to Jamaica one day. Jamaica is great. My mom will fall in love in, with Jamaica. Like, Jamaica is great. D, you are raised with good principles and morals. Yeah, me I grew up in a family where the father is the head of the family and the, uh, the mother is the neck of the family to support the head. And that's what I stand for. And that's what I know. A woman, you must be a woman. And a man, you must be a man. And that is it. Okay? No negotiation. Okay? Mikael, hi, how you doing? Miki says, D, what one? Go cook now. Me well na hungry. <laughs> Leave the key under dormant. Me soon. <laughs> Rich. <laughs> All right, guys, we want to go in the kitchen, but I want to go if we are at 400k subscribers at Sophie Love Lifestyle. Okay? Yeah, nature, organic hub. Me, I was raised where the woman has to be a woman, the man has to be a man. As a man, you must be able to provide for your family. My dad works really hard. We never sleep hungry. Big up to my dad, wherever he is. I don't know if he's watching. But big up to you, Dad. You are a perfect example of what a man should be. Hard working. My dad wakes up as early as four to make sure we eat. In my home, we never buy food. Like buying food? No, no, no. My dad ensures we have enough food, healthy food. My dad is one of a true definition of hard work. Big up to you, Dad. I really appreciate having been raised with a father like you. It means a lot. So no way. I can joke around with an empty pocket mind. No way, no way, no way. Because my dad is a true example of what a man should be. A man should be protective. My dad protects us in the... Guys, you can't mess with us when my dad is around. You cannot. You cannot mess with my mom when my dad is around. You can't even mess with us, you know? A man should protect the family. A man should provide for the family. A man should be the head. And that's what I stand for, okay? And I got this from a perfect example, who is my dad. So I forever stand for that. I forever stand for that. A man should be a man, a woman should be a woman, okay? And education is a must. Yes, 
basic education is a must. At least make sure you get to the high school level. At least high school level is important, you know. We have people who have made it in life without going to school, but I don't mean like school is not important. Even the university is really important. You get to learn like so much how to relate with people. Okay, so I stand for that. Okay, go with us in the kitchen. I want to go with you in the kitchen if we've gotten uh, Sophie Love Lifestyle 400k subscribers. Where are we now? Let me know. Somebody says, better be poor and humble. No, better be rich and humble. Better be rich and humble. That is it. I stand for rich and humble. Okay? Aha! Aisha Ash, how you doing? D, you are a real Jamaican now. <laughs> I love Jamaica, so I love, I love, I love, I love. Hmm? Don't you think my... Uh, don't you, I don't know what you're trying to say. Hmm, don't think my Bible said that. Yeah, the Bible says that. Be poor, poor in spirit, not poor in the pockets, my friend. The Bible says you must be poor in the spirit, like seeking God's kingdom, not poor in the pockets. The Bible doesn't advocate for poor in the pocket. How can you be poor and our God is a rich God? All the luxury of this world belong to him. Gold, diamond, just name it. So if you're a God's person, you don't need to be poor in the pockets. Okay. D Monica, a new subscriber. Monica, thank you so much. You're welcome. I really appreciate. Uh, Ms. V New York says too much money makes some people obnoxious. Ah, uh, maybe, but no, 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 no. You can know how to deal with it. Instead of being obnoxious, you can actually donate it to the streets. D, are you coming to Tobago? Definitely, it's my plan to visit the entire Caribbean from uh, Jamaica the next Carib uh, the next country is Cuba I'm gonna be going to Cuba Trinidad and Tobago is a must Bahamas is a must Cates and Navis is a must the most amazing thing is the fact that I don't need visa to go to the Caribbean okay so most of Caribbean countries are free so I'm coming some rich men worship money than God that's not true that's not true still we worship god okay still we worship god we worship god not money god will forever be god okay that's what i know and that's what i stand for even miss ruto like prosperity preachers of course of course guys what about cayman islands definitely i'm coming devon i'm coming St. Kitts and Navis, I'm coming. Everybody wants to be a USD millionaire, but only 1% are. You rather strive hard. Aim at the sky. If you fall, you, you fall somewhere, okay? All right, guys, let's go in the kitchen. Let me know how many subscribers do we have at... Um, Sophie Love Lifestyle, let me know. Somebody is asking, D, what about James? Would you date him? Uh, mm, actually, James comes from a very, 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 very rich family. I know, I know that. He, uh, I don't know about him because the paperwork is from the family, so I don't know if James has the real people. <laughs> I don't know if James is watching, I don't know. But I know he comes from a very well-off family. But actually, James is a very hard-working guy. James works extremely, extremely hard, okay? And, um, yeah, I wouldn't mind because he works really hard, so I don't know. But I would. Because he works really hard and I know him, he works really hard. That's when I have proof. And the paperwork is good. <laughs> But the paperwork is from the family, not him. So there's also being having the paperwork you as you 
and it's different when the family has the paperwork those are two different things i go for having paperwork you as a person not the family because the paperwork belongs to the family not not you as a person then that's different then, then that's a fail but if you have the paperwork you as you and your family doesn't have the paperwork still it's a win-win <laughs> Rich in spirit is good, but also rich in the pockets is, is more nicer. Okay? Aha. Uh -huh. Do you wear gold? Aha. Uh -huh. Upon? Eh? Upon him wastes. I don't know. James is a cool guy. Yeah, he's a nice guy and he works really hard. He works really hard. I know that. Working hard is a must. Me, what I'm trying to say is working hard is a must. Okay? Mm-hmm. Fama Isa, big up. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's go to the kitchen. 400 followers. Do we have 400 followers? Then we go to the kitchen. Let me know. How many subscribers do we have at Sophie Love Lifestyle? If it's 400, then we can go to the kitchen. But I wish we got her a thousand. Okay? It's my prayer we get her to a thousand. Okay? D, they want to see you dating. You are just enjoying yourself right now you are single yeah i'm enjoying my life being single but i'd rather be single than having a broke man in my life i don't want problems i did it i failed horribly and i don't want to fail again okay uh-huh we are at 394 guys we have to get to 400 for me to go and cook okay this is the link please go subscribe to this youtube channel she's a jamaican and she wanna be teaching me how to cook so please support her tina lee says i already took care of a broke man never again tina lee i know what you're saying i did that too i took care of him his family i used to send money to his family he even um uh, I even opened a business for the family. Like I did too much more than what I was supposed to do. I think I was so naive and stupid. So I won't go back there. Once beaten twice shy, just in the name of love, I won't go there again. So yeah, I failed and I'll never do that again. I have to admit, okay, I failed and I don't wanna fail again. So let's all work hard. Somebody's asking who is James. James is a hard working guy. That's who he is. James Bean says, Hey D, I would like to introduce you to a young, rich African man. He lives in a big house with around 50 workers. Yes. No problem. Do that. And make sure he's below 35. Me, I don't want any any old broke man near me i don't want as long as he's below 35 i don't care whether he's african i don't whether i don't care whether he's from jamaica i don't care where he's from you must be below 35 actually my elder brother is, is turning 33 soon so even you being 35 is just a bonus so for you to win just make sure you have the paperwork because me i don't date old guys okay he says he's 32 his birthday is next month okay tell him to to hit me up on Instagram. <laughs> and you can just tell me you are rich. I have to confirm. Me, I don't want. I don't want a very old guy. 32 is, is better. At least he's my elder brother's age. That one is reasonable. Above 35, D Mwango says no. Lightning, earthquake, and thunderbolts. Shake them, D Mwango. I'm shaking all the broke guys. <laughs> And let them fall, strike through my wicked heart for me. Guys, let me sing you one of my favorite Jamaican songs, all right? This is one of the songs that I really, really, really love. Watch over me, ja. lightning, earthquake, and thunderbolts. Shake them, Dimwango, and let them fall, strike through my wicked heart for me. Watch over me, da. lightning, earthquake, and thunderbolts. 
check them the mango and let them fall strike through my weekend hides for me <laughs> i love this song Barbara James, lightning, earthquake, thunderbolts, shake them, the one, make them fall. Hey, Barbara James, you helped me make today's live stream really interesting. Barbara James, big up to you, mommy. I really appreciate your love, your support. You mean the whole world to me. We've come a long way with you. You are a true fan, and I know that for sure. Okay? And I don't take that for granted. Doreen Small, thank you so much. Hazel, thank you so much. Team D, thank you so much. We've come from far together and we're going far. Watch over me, jar. Lightning, earthquake, and thunderbolts. Shake them, dim wango, and let them fall. Strike through my wicked heart for me. Watch over me, jar. Lightning, earthquake, and thunderbolts. Shake them, the mango, and let them fall. Strike through my wicked heart for me. Watch over me, ja. Guys, let me know. Are we at 400k subscribers? Sophie, love, lifestyle. Watch over me, ja. Lightning, earthquake, and thunderbolts. Shake them, the mango, and let them fall. Strike through the wicked hearts for me. Watch over me, ja. This feeling I cannot deny. He never let my world run dry. He gave me blessings in a twinkle of an eye. We give praises to Rastafari. <laughs> The world is changing. <laughs> Universal cleansing. Lightning, earthquake, and thunderbolts. Shake them, the mango, and let them fall. Strike through the wicked heart for me. Watch over me, Duh. guys. I want to make this song to be like part of my intro. Tomorrow I'm going to meet uh, the, song, uh, the owner of this song. He's a great friend. I totally appreciate his efforts. His name is Izula. You can watch, you can follow him on Instagram, Izula Reggae. Okay. He's uh, an artist from Jamaica. I totally love his energy. He works really hard. He works really hard and big up to all the men who are working really hard. Tomorrow he'll be having um, a music shoot. And I can't wait to go and show up for him. Me, I support all the men who work hard, like him. Okay, I think there was another donation that came in. So big up to Miss Pound Cake for donating 20 US dollars. Thank you so much. God bless. It means the world to me. Miss Pound Cake. Thank you so, so, so much. May your well never run dry. Watch over me, Ja. This feeling I cannot deny. He never let my world run dry. Ja, give me blessings in a tinkle of an eye. So we give praises to Rastafari. Universal cleansing. The world is changing. Lightning. Earthquake and thunderbolts, shake them down, let them fall, strike through my wicked hearts for me. Watch over me, ja. lightning, earthquake and thunderbolts, shake them down, let them fall, strike through my wicked hearts for me. I love that song, it's so so good. To me, the message is all that I need. Obviously, generational wealth means James' parents create that for him. So wealth, eh? wealth is wealth. Doesn't matter how it comes. Yeah, wealth is wealth. I agree. I, I agree with you. But James works really hard. Like he's not just a lazy person. I have to accept and big up to you, James. You work really hard, and I know that for sure. Big up to you. All right, and keep it up. The paperwork is important. I think James has like, I think four jobs or something. 
he's working seven days a week so big up to you that's something that all young men should emulate okay okay guys how far are we how far are we from a thousand subscribers okay guys i'm also a youtuber i also create videos please subscribe to my channel i'm also an entertainer so anything i said that's my view of perspective all right that's my view of perspective all right don't take it too seriously that's these uh perspective about life what she stands for so yeah strike through the wicked heart for me watch over me the lightning earthquake and thunderbolts shake them jump and let them fall strike through the wicked heart for me that's the correct that's those are the correct lyrics okay okay guys you wanna go and cook how far are we somebody tell me please how many subscribers do we have on um 397 please make it 400 almost 400 please make it 400 please love what you stand for thank you so much bridget lee yeah that's what i stand for it is what it is that's what i stand for if you don't like it it's okay but to me it is what it is I stand for men working really hard and being providers of their family and being the head of their family. I stand for women also working hard because you can't just be, uh, you know, you can't just be a burden to your hardworking husband. And I advocate for hardworking men to get hardworking rich guys. Hardworking guys to get hardworking women. Lazy men to get lazy women. But I don't want any of, any of that. All of us have to work hard in life. Nothing comes easy. You have to go for it. Okay, guys. Two more subscribers. Okay? No, guys. I'm so hungry. I need to cook chicken. I need to cook uh, kalalu and maybe ugali. So, yeah. True. Yes. Tina Lee. That's true. Yeah. I stand for both genders working hard. That's what I stand for. Are we at 400? Please check, 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 check. Okay? Please check for me. Caleb says, I'm a Jamaican live abroad. I enjoy watching your videos and what you're having a good time in Jamaica. I'm sorry for the difficulties you're experiencing. Jamaicans are very friendly. Yeah. Actually, I'm loving Jamaica. Jamaica is, is beautiful. Jamaica is nice, you know. All right. Are we at 400K? Are we at 400k? Let me know. 399. No, guys, we need to get 400k. We need to get to 400k. All right. James Bean says, Dim Wango, David Jr., he's rich, has a fancy convertible. Yeah, my young brother, he's younger than me. Actually, I'm, uh, I'm actually older than him with like, uh, I think two, two years or something. My young brother, his name is David Jr., okay? Can you imagine my young brother, young D's brother, he has a convertible pigeon, you know, and he works really hard. And he's uh, actually 22 He's 22 actually, 22 years old, but he works really hard. What am I trying to say? Also young guys can be rich. He's also building, like I come from a family where we, our love language is hard work and that's what I stand for. Hard work is my love language. If my young brother can, can work that hard, eh? then what about you? It's just to inspire you that if you work hard, you're gonna get what you want. What difficulties? Jamaica is so expensive for me, but I'm trying to work hard. <laughs> Emma Small, that's what I mean. It's really expensive, man. Every day I part with 300 US dollars in Jamaica from my pocket. Where I'm saying it's 100 US dollars for a day to move around, like today, it's 100 US dollars. I haven't eaten, I haven't. 
it's so hard to have to drink and drink outside like man 300 us dollars a day in jamaica trust me trust me just shopping for my grocery just like two three days grocery i part with like a hundred jamaican dollars think about that a hundred us dollars so that's the only challenge otherwise it's a beautiful country and i'm not complaining i will work hard to keep up with the standards <laughs> i will pull up my socks okay emma small that's what i meant all right dorin small thank you so much so guys uh dion ross says we are at 401 thank you so much let's keep subscribing to her channel all right this is the link right here okay let's go to the kitchen now i change the the camera to the kitchen okay that is the kitchen okay guys now we go to the kitchen we have to cook so basically my camera maybe will remain like that for now as we get the groceries ready to cook and uh, today I wanna be cooking chicken and vegetables and ugali. I have the ugali flour, but I don't have a wooden stick. I forgot to shop. Every day I go to the supermarkets, but I don't know why I forget buying the stick, the cooking stick. So hey, the dishes are so dirty. I have to start washing the dishes. Guys, let me tell you something. I work really hard. I work extremely hard so now i have to wash the dishes then get back to the kitchen so i don't know if you guys can see me clearly or i should turn the camera closer so i'm letting the tap run because they are dishes i want to soak them okay i wasn't here during the day so i have to soak them a little bit okay so i want to turn the camera closer to the kitchen because i want to cook i want to cook okay so I'm using my phone to go live, so I have to. I need to have my lap, my laptop, so that I can uh, see the comments. All right. Okay, as you all see, shredded callaloo, all right? So I bought this from the supermarket. I love vegetables. We also have this in Kenya. It's called mchicha. I don't know if you guys know it's callaloo. Is it more closer? So this is what I'm going to cook. And I'm also going to cook, um, we have chicken, but I have to freeze, not to freeze, uh, to like, uh, how do you say it? frozen right now i have to be, be free so this is chicken and ugali all right that's what i'm going to cook so i think guys are gonna end the live because i have to concentrate because i don't know if i could i should just leave the the camera rolling and just get into it because i need to concentrate so let me know should i cook with you guys should i let the camera roll just like that because coming to talk to you and cooking at the same time is such a hassle so i don't know let me know what you want because your wish is my command if you want me just to let the camera roll i can still do that but first let me say thank you so much for subscribing to sophie love lifestyle youtube channel if you haven't subscribed please go support her She's a Jamaican, she does a lot of cooking, and because I want to learn how to cook Jamaican dishes, I'd wish you to subscribe to her channel, let's get her a thousand subscribers. But so far, for the 300 subscribers, because her channel had a hundred subscribers, right now we are at 400 subscribers, so today I got her 300 subscribers, okay? So that's a good start. Maybe also tomorrow I'll do a live stream because I want to make sure her channel gets to a thousand 
subscribers. That's my goal before I collab with her. And I know you're going to make it possible. Thank you, guys. And also, thank you for loving me. Thank you for supporting me. I really, really appreciate you. mean the whole world to me. You guys, you're the best. You are the best. May God bless you all from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. I've been talking three hours plus, non-stop. That shows how hard I work. And that's why I stand for you must work hard, both men and women. Because nothing comes on a silver plate. So I want to see you on tomorrow's live stream, okay? Okay, guys? And I have to cook. I have to edit. Like, I'll probably sleep at 3 a.m. in the morning. I sleep like three hours, okay? Because that is it, okay? So when I say I don't want any broke man near me, this is what I mean because it will be too un... <laughs> It will be too unfair to me to work, for me to work this hard and to get a lazy, empty pocket man. Me, I don't want. I say no. No, 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 no. All right? Anyway, guys, all the best in all that you do. Keep working hard. If you're a mother out there, you're a father out there working really hard to provide for your family, big up, big up to my parents, my dad, my mom, my brothers. Big up to them for working so hard. And also all of us, thank you for supporting me. You all mean the whole world to me. Thank you so, so much. And I'll see you on my next one. Okay? Okay, guys. I don't know if you could see me or not. Okay? So, thank you, guys. Thank you so, so much. I need to cook now. I need to cook. I need to wash the dishes. I need to cook. So, thank you so much. I love you all. Oh, there's another donation that came in before I sleep. Ale Alexa not 0704 thank you so much for again donating five US dollars God bless okay thank you so much thank you so much and also profound travels for donating 20 US dollars good to see you still glowing D out there keep up the great work thank you so much God bless also kog production thank you so much everybody that donated hazel thank you so much you all mean the whole world to me thank you so much for joining today's live stream i still need you tomorrow and forever i can't wait to to meet you guys someday all right how do you donate oh if you want to donate you click on the super sign the dollar sign that you see below then you can put in your bank details you can donate any amount that you feel like whether it's one dollar whether it's two dollars anything you feel like is welcome you just click on the dollar sign it will uh, it will give you uh, directions on what to do so it's what you want okay all right guys as you all see here i've been out the whole day and i have dishes to wash and i have to cook so i'm such a busy person i sleep three hours a day Okay, so I'm going to see you on my next live stream.